Okay. Should be. Come on. YouTube just like died on me for a second. Blazer, hello. Welcome. Rumo, welcome. <laughs> okay. First, do this. Okay. So, you might, let me get rid of this. You don't need to be here. Solace. <laughs> YouTube recommended path. Ramsey, welcome. No one a name? All right, this guy, this spool. I don't really feel like using it at low rank. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get any. Crates, so I'm just gonna spend a coins. It's gonna cost a lot, but I have a lot, so here we go. That's getting expensive fast. Hooray! Maximum Solas indeed. Welcome, Master Games. BMP. BMP already streamed this, by the way. I'm a little bit late to the party. He did mostly... He did mostly Railgun, so I don't, I don't want to start off with Railgun. You worked those acorns, bro. I know. But good to know, I started off with like 36 and I have 11 now. Which means that I only need 25 to max most things, I would say. So, yeah, i would be able to keep that in mind. Because I hold off using my acorns for so long. Like, I, I always... It, like, there's several things that I still want ranked up. I mean, like, fusion cannons would be fun, but I don't really have a pilot for it, so it's fine. Um, Storm Rank 16. I want to rank that up, but I haven't, just because of the number of acorns that it would cost. And stuff. Repeater 16 would also be kind of funny, but probably not worth it. Chain Gun 16. It's been forever. And I still haven't duplicated that. I just duplicated Cryolauncher 12. So, yeah. Max autocannon soon? Nah. That much acorns for a blueprint secret? I know, I know. But here's the thing, here's the thing. I am at a point where I don't need tons of rank ups anymore. So, like, I... For the most part, everything that I have is rank 5, rank 6. So I'm not using acorns for tons of stuff. Okay. 
Okay. As long as you got a second copy of a weapon, you don't need to rank up stuff unless you want to. Exactly. Exactly. I don't max out my weapons very often. In fact, like, my railgun is arguably the best weapon in the game. It's only level 5. I haven't bothered. Uh, I did max out my minigun because it's minigun. I maxed out Stormwreck because... I think I think I I think I thought at the time that if it was maxed it could one mega dome, but it can't. Um yeah. I mostly just focus on maxing on my max on some. How long am I gonna go for? It's hard to say, but probably at least three hours. Yeah, what time is it? Yeah, probably at least three hours. It depends. If Sanjay ends up streaming as well, then I might do like two and then uh, Sanjay can pick it up from there. But typically he streams today, but it's already later than he normally does it. You read her sentry can carry the torch after. Yeah, exactly. Probably sent. Well, sentry probably won't be available till like 4 p.m., but possibly red. Anyway. Sanji streams pull it to 11. Yeah. This is true. If it's close enough to do 11, then I'll just. Stream to 211 and then stuff. Do you think it would be good with Stormrack? I think pretty much everything would be good with Stormrack. So in that sense, yes. Yeah, chat. Probably freaking body blocked my shot. Oh. Tobins wants to kill me. How? Okay, see, the Scorpius bots are the worst. Like, they they are not your friend. Because it doesn't matter if they can see you. They will hit you. And I'm dead. The hell is that? Wait, what? Calm down. I don't think I want to be here. I think I want to be back here. Bro, Scorpius bots are something else, because they'll hit you whether they have sight or not. And it's really irritating. Probably players who aren't familiar with Scorpius, they probably all think that Scorpius is like some absolute monster endgame mech. Because they're like, well, you know, you can't, you can't escape it. Doesn't matter what you do. It just constantly fires at you. Which is true if you're a bot, but not if you're a player. <laughs> Look. Dub. You're dub. Why are they even using Arc Torrent? Anyone faced Vortex bots? No, I don't think those exist. But then again, I haven't faced Seeker bots and yet people who are like half my power have, which is, you know, weird. Right, okay. Take two. 
Kaldo is here, welcome. Nameless. Should I use EM-16 and Railgun-12? Or EM-12 and Railgun-16? Does it have to be... Oh, I'm, I'm... Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you're talking about two different builds. Because if you're talking about the same build... <laughs> I was gonna say, like, does it have to be two different weapons? If Solus was 24 energy, then no one would use it. This is true. This is absolutely true. I don't think it's gonna be that good. It'll be good in 2v2, but like, you know, I think pretty much everything is, is better in 2v2 than it is in, in CPC. Just because 2v2 just means you don't have to actually do much. Two v two allows you to camp without having to deal with many enemies coming after you. Which I think just by default. Come on. I got him, yeah. He's a nerd. Bruh, okay. Well. Eat that. This map specifically. This spot on this map specifically, it just derp spots out. So pretty much no matter what you use, if you do it here, it's gonna work. Wow. Unless you have skill issue in Cantam. Shoulda should clarified. <laughs> That Scorpius needs to go freaking... Bro. Did you see that? That guy, I swear he pre... He, he did the laser thing. He fired off in that direction and then just like quickly flipped it over to me. He was like, oh no, wait, there's a player over here. I didn't actually fire. Nah, eh, just reload why not. See, this guy needs to go, and he can still fire while he's blinded. He's gonna shot. Uh, Derp mo oh god! <laughs> Scorpius bots are literally like the most OP thing you've ever seen. So you give them a railgun or an EM rifle, and it becomes a spawn of Satan. Freaking get out of here, bro. I don't even care about you right now, Eclipse. Legitimately, I only want to kill the Scorpius bots. I legitimately could not care less about what you do. There's only one bot that I care about. Care about killing, I should say. It's so annoying. Okay. Does Solus still make bots derp out? Uh, see, yes and no. Because they can still see, because their their vision is not the same as our vision, right? Like, they, the devs couldn't pro program legitimate eyes onto them, even if they wanted to, probably. So, you know, it's not like each bot has a screen that they're playing on, right? They know where you are at all times. So, the only thing the blind can do is just make them act like they don't know what's going on. In which case, like, certain times, in certain situations, that'll get, like, overridden, and they'll just, like, they'll be totally fine. Basically, they forgot they were supposed to be blinded. <laughs> it's, it's essentially what happens. Secret bots are more common at low SP, it seems. Yeah, I heard that. And that makes zero sense. I really like the second MD skin. Can't remember the name, it's in the playoff. Uh, okay. 
not this one, this one, not this one, this one. Paper me, this one. Huh. I think maybe different people get different skins in those playoffs, by the way. The only th good thing about Scorpius Ponce is that its ability doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah. It's easy enough to dodge on some maps, but then, like, you know, they, they can also curve it like an actual champion. What's the best looking skin ever on any mech, in your opinion? Uh, probably. I might have to go with the Star Slayer Hemlock, honestly. It's pretty legit. Hey, let's go. Ain't scared. And Mrs. Maximus, whatever that's supposed to mean. Rust Ravager stock. See, okay. It's a good one. It's a classic one. But I don't know if I would call it the best one. This guy. Haha, <laughs> he did. You should be scared. Yeah. Eat quantum nerd. <laughs> He's probably like, oh, you know, I'm just, having a, I'm just having a good time. Immediately gets absolutely smacked in the eyeballs. <laughs> I think there's still a bot derping out in the basement, by the way. Yes, there is. Hold off for a second, pal. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just chill, just chill, okay? Just chill. And this should be fine. Oh, I, I didn't kill him. There's no way. I literally needed one extra shot. That's annoying. Although this guy, this guy, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, okay. You, you gotta chill for a second. You have to chill for a second. Would like to point out that this guy's coming up the bottom. Oh, okay, nice. <clears throat> hey, pal. Oh no. <laughs> He's not even dead. That's annoying. So. <laughs> The bot got him. Of course it was the bot Scorpius. Of course it was the bot Scorpius. Blue Hawk, welcome. I've been getting absolutely destroyed by bot Scorpiuses today, so. Just just to catch you up. Eh. <laughs> I'm sure they liked that. Jav array hits from anywhere for I know. Like if you're if you're hiding in the closet, javelin array will freaking it it will open the door, get behind you, and then just like smack you in the back of the head. Blinded fool. Oh, wait, somebody has Helix? Oh, let's go. Hi. I'm not really sure what he thought was gonna happen.
Eclipse is like a counter to literally everything. I know. It actually, it's kind of annoying that Eclipse is just is is yet another counter. And and Aegis. Eclipse and Aegis are both counters to this Megalobar again. But hey, it is what it is. Now, who is online? Does anyone want to join is the question. The 2.11. Has your day gone? Yeah, it's gone all right. I mean, I woke up like an hour ago, so... <laughs> You know, pretty pretty low source data, but seems fine. Whichever is the most annoying ability in the game. You're just camping and it strikes you without any warning. Okay, but like, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like maybe... Hey, the 211, let's go. I feel like maybe Hemlock does the same thing, but is a bit more annoying. <laughs> same with Orion. Like, neither of those give you warnings either. Doesn't curve as well, but still. Oh, you're ready? Okay. <laughs> Ice cube. He's got nades on it. Hold on. Is that a 16 and a 12? Or is that two 16s? It looks like a 16 and a 12, so I think he got it ma uh, ranked up. There's a bot over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's the Scorpius. Bro. The freaking Scorpius bots. You give them snipers, and they're just like the most terrifying thing ever. It's two freaking nomads. Ah! What was that? Okay. Well, he was blinded when he shot, but <laughs> there's only so much you can do <laughs> against bots that hack. Who died over here? And oh, someone get that guy. Falcon, are you back? Oh, escape's gone. Thanks, kid. Yeah, I, I see you. Nerd. Oh no 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 Falcon stop <laughs> Yeah you can go up there but you're just gonna die Okay Who said Guardian? Get him out of here right now Ain't nobody got time for Guardian stands You give them literally any situation and they're just like well if there was a guardian it's like, okay, well, I can't manifest a guardian within 30 meters of literally everything. There's someone behind. Oh, no. <laughs> Get out of here, Cardi. Yeah, exactly. Nobody devs you. It's a great mech, but it's so overrated, honestly. Like, everyone swears by it, even though nobody uses it. Even, even the people who are, like, at lower ranks, you know what I'm saying? The people who have it in their hangar constantly, they don't use it constantly. It's almost never their best mech.
Who's better, Eclipse or Nomad? Uh, overall, I'd have to say Nomad. Well, actually, no, it'd have to be Eclipse. Because now that Disc Launcher got nerfed, there's kind of no counter for Eclipse. <laughs> Two point two eleven million damage. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, really. The two eleven is here. Welcome. Got mine ranked up, not maxed. Need twelve sixteen. Figured as much. It looked they looked slightly different. Eclipse versus Surge probably still Eclipse. Yeah. I saved up my acorns to be able to just like immediately max it out. But yeah. Two eleven is the main number of the arenas, is true. Uh the <clears throat> like the points that you get for things are it's just multiples of two eleven. That's all it is. Caledosia, Skate, Falcon. I don't know what that says, but I know he's here. <laughs> he said he was ready. It's a rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. But I don't think people are saying Eclipse versus Nomad who would win, because Nomad would win. But Eclipse is better than Nomad overall, right? It's a matter of which one should I use in my hangar, not which one would win in a 1v1. But in a 1v1, you know, if it's within range, then everyone's just going to be saying, well, what about Guardian? Memes God, you're gonna have to speak English because that is what I speak. I'm not smart enough for multiple languages. Is there any info on what the minigun 16 tokens will be substituted for? Uh, probably acorns, like a couple acorns. The last one was like a hundred acorns each, I think. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> We can keep him eternally blinded. I, we got this. Stop, 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 stop. He's just like... <laughs> I, I love it. You you blind him, he immediately just turns away and just starts strafing. You gotta wonder what bots are doing sometimes. Go to the quantum guns on Solas, or have you not known yet? Uh, It's... It's decent... But I feel like it would be best used with a team and with the overheat and stasis implants. Oh, buys gate, sorry. Because theoretically, right? Theoretically, you could blind people and then immediately just shoot them one time with Quantum Gun, if you had the implants. You could shoot them one time with Quantum Gun, and they're in overheat, they're in stasis, ow. They're in overheat, they're in stasis, and they can't see anything for a few seconds. So it's just like a... It, it's probably like one of the best um, support combinations. But you'd need competent teammates to be able to capitalize on that. Which is why me and Scape worked together, but then when it was just me solo or me with a bot, it, just, it didn't really work out so well. Nerd. I got you. Bye. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's better, Redox or Solus? Redox is OP, and you can't take that away from me. 
100 acorns last time, which was a pleasant surprise, right? I wasn't expecting that for sure. Okay, well, I didn't say to stay, but we probably could have. Money boy. Shout out to him. 211. I'll cycle up with Falcon because he's not eating the chat. I have six star Eclipse and it's gonna stay six star for a while, so I want to invest on it. What weapons would suit better? Um, Graviton Beam. Graviton Beam tens are for credits, and you probably got them already for like Panther or something when you first got into tier seven. Uh, and those are those are great to cycle on to rank six Eclipse. Not bad for Nomad or Surge either. Oh, let's go. It's time to exact some emotional damage onto these people. Are you ready? Escape. Should I spend for Solus? Probably not. I think it won't be a great mech. In most cases, I recommend people not spend. Because you can get it cheaper if you wait, first off. And second, uh -huh. you can get it cheaper if you wait, and you also don't know if it's that good until unless until you've given it a little bit of time. Oh, what was that? Okay, that's my bad. Nerd. Yeah, I can only assume that they didn't appreciate the Solus. Divine is just chilling. Yeah, that was not going to end well. Somehow he managed to get me before my resistance was up. Stop. You're body blocking me, bro. Yeah, okay, okay. Defines down, so that's good. He's not out, but he is down. Oh, they have a Helix dude on the bottom, that's great. Nice, thanks. They have beacon advantage for sure. We really need to get in there. Kehodozik. Watch out, bro. You know, I'm not sure what you plan on doing about that. No, oh, no. I should have backed up. I don't know why I turned around. I'm stupid. Pro tip, never turn around when Seeker's on you. Back up. <laughs> hey, I think that's the first time I've ever seen an IA person get paired up against me. That's Hypho's clan. I need storm rags. Yeah, they're really strong for sure. Sentry, hello. That's unfortunate. Good match though. <clears throat> I 
Not running a very good hanger. Graviton 16 Panther. Ain't gonna do well there. That's alright. Look, you just need a couple good mechs to compensate. That's all. You may have a discount your chungus. Just spawn it last or something. Uh, I would do Voltaic, but I actually got rid of the implants for that. <laughs> Missile Rack. Bro, what is that hangar with this one? It's beautiful is what it is. Well, it doesn't have Hemlock, which is sad. Which is actually true. Hold on. I, I've been enjoying Railgun Vortex, but I think if we want to stay on brand, we kind of have to just go full emotional damage here. So Eclipse, out of here. Minigun Nomad can probably be swapped with that. Well, actually... I do need something that's fast, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Vortex in here, but not with that, with Disruptor. Tim J7, welcome. Also, please, only English. That is the only thing that I understand. Stormrack 16 needs an update? What do you mean? Oh, do you mean that I need to upgrade mine? Yeah, I know. It's been like that for a while. How's Captain Flashbang working out? It's fun, but with Quantum Gun, which is what I was using it on, it's not particularly fantastic. Have at least one scout. No, bro. Here's the thing. That's what I have teammates for. Nobody cares about scouts. All right. Nobody. How much did it take you to max it? 25,000? 26,000? No, it's 25. I started off with 36 and ended up with 11. The last I checked with you, though, Sentry. You only had, like, 2,000 or something like that, so... Probably you can't. <laughs> Isn't Nomad a scout? Yeah. I'm aware. That's why I... That's why I put it in, but, you know... If you make a big deal about it, I will remove it for Bastion right now. I will go back to Hangar and I will remove it. Just to prove a point. <laughs> I won't. I would never leave the 211. That would be very sad. Stop. Okay, well, I'm in heap. Fired anyway, but. I think he missed. On my screen, he absolutely smacked uh, Blue Falcon with that EM shot, but it didn't look like he dealt any damage, so. This Rack's not bad. Problem is, like, it, you're definitely going to want Storm Rack instead of Missile Rack. Because you really want to keep a distance with this mech. And it's harder to hit good damage at a distance with Missile Rack, I'd say. Wow, why are my 16s just not seeming to do any damage? It's weird. Look. Look, pal. Look, pal. You need to go. You need to go. Thank you.
There we go. Freaking Scorpius. I see you. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Fair warning, Sentry. When you try this thing, you will die to Scorpius bots. It is not a question. <laughs> you will die to Scorpius bots. It's a legendary mech, but ability doesn't seem legendary. Well, the ability's good, it's just the stats are really bad. The HP, specifically. The speed is not fantastic either, but it's fine. It's mostly just the fact that, like, if you take basically any damage, you're dead. But I don't really have... Like, you'd probably want, like, Stormrack 16 or something. Even Voltaic RPG would probably be good, but I don't have a pilot for it. Which means I'd be missing out on the reload, which is the most important implant. I could try beams, though. I know this is what Century was using before. Oh, yeah, the guy got off. Or he's in a battle by himself. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and him, I guess. Panther has even worse HP, but he's much better. Well, yeah, because the ability is better. The, the ability protects you. Solus doesn't have an ability that protects it. I have 11,000 acorns. Could I at least get to 28 energy? Yeah, you should be able to. The last rank is 18,000, so that means that I spent 7,000 getting it to rank 6. Including the rank up. Oh, he was coming for me. Oh, ain't no way, bro. I'm dead. He fires it off into the distance, and then I just immediately get freaking... Okay, whatever. Whatever. I don't freaking care. You're a bad person. Stop that right now. Behind you. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, gonna... Uh oh. Look. <laughs> nice dash. I, uh. Yep. Oh my. <laughs> Nice. We're both on one HP, by the way. Zero chance this works out. But... Ah! Fair enough. Chain gun, gate crasher. Now! Freaking Scorpius is all the time. 
feel like Solus should have been epic. Yeah, but then there would have been some people, if it was epic, they would have said, eh, it should have been legendary. Should I stream later? You can. Were you going to stream later today? I forget. No, you streamed yesterday. That's what it was. But you didn't have... That much time. Where's this? Oh. Do this. Imagine I get a freaking soul as a blueprint. Pretty low chance. Stop. The thing just it keeps. Oh, you gotta go back. To oh. Take care, Skip. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's gonna die hyper. Sentry, you getting on? Oh no, okay, you're you won't be you won't be back for a while. That's fine. Is there an obvious best mech and weapon? Um, the best weapon is railgun, but the best build is probably EM's uh, EM rifle eclipse. I was gonna say Scorpius because I keep because I'm so used to saying Scorpius. Yes, I know Sentry. I know. This will go over well. Certainly nothing bad could possibly happen. Freaking Scorpius. Yeah, I waited. I had to wait for him to shoot. Shoot and get him. He's a bad person. Oh, the okay. Scorpius, I see you. I see you. Where is that little booger? Okay. I'll take care of that. Take care of that guy right now. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. Yeah. Scorpio spots freaking cheaters. All of them. Except for Yellow Hat Man. Yellow Hat Man's fine. It's kind of weird that this is. Probably my best performance with Solisten. <laughs> I say that and then I saw Scorpius. I have a legitimate fear of Javelin Array now. Okay. I see the thing and I'm like, oh great. I'm freaking dead. Get up! I don't care if I die, that Scorpius is going with me. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. 
Should have waited a second longer. Apparently he was still in resistance. Is that the last one? Is that the last one? I got you, Kaudos, yeah. Well, I mean, he's EMP'd anyway, but we'll pretend that I helped. That's not English? Oh, no. Yeah, get it, get that man out of here. Thank you. <laughs> this is true. Does your uh, Mr. Perfect Falcon? Hey, here, here he is. Are you running any ability implants? I am not. I have two weapon implants, and that's literally it on this pilot. Because I, uh, yeah, I have too many pilots and not enough ability implants. Man, I want another, I want another player battle. That first one was good, man. I mean, even though we lost, it was a solid match. We actually didn't lose as as uh, as badly as I kind of thought we would. I think I want to go to the room. That's Scorpius. That's Scorpius. Thank you. Where's he, Ryan? <laughs> oh, you got mortars on it, bro? Yeah, make sure you move a little bit. I was going to say, you were uh, going to fire that straight up into the ceiling. Double disc panther. Very nice. I got you. Look here. Oh no. I got Mr. Perfect killed because I didn't blind that redox in time. Yeah. Hey, let's go. Yeah, see, with a panther, with a panther teammate, everything's fine. Without a panther teammate, everything's <clears throat> moderately less than fine. Oh, it's a scorpion. I'm gonna freaking get him. I'm gonna freaking get him. You get back here, nerd. First, I'll kill your friends. You know, kill your family. And ah. <laughs> Okay, well. Hey, double digits, let's go. And you think Disruptor will become available and have all the implants for them and Diesel do? Dang. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. <clears throat> I can say, though. The last few mechs have been coming uh, exactly seven weeks apart. I'd have to go look at the release data. I don't think they have a schedule. In fact, they've specifically told me that they don't want a, a schedule for like um, release in the gear hub for in-game resources. They, for whatever reason, <laughs> no worries. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, for whatever reason, they're very. They're very adamant about not having a schedule, so I don't think they really do. But I could look at like when the last few things came out. 
and then when they were released for in-game currency and kind of see if there's a general pattern there. But I have not as of yet. Let's go. You are memes, God. Can you say? Oh. <laughs> no. Look. You speak in English and you speak respectfully. Otherwise, you get booted. You gotta kill five scores before you can fe feel comfortable, bro. For real. I'm walking, I'm like walking on eggshells here. Until all well, the Scorpiuses are dead. And then I can finally like actually breathe. What happened to the barrage weapon everyone was geeking out about that's supposed to be so good for Seeker? You know it wasn't Podgon. I mean, there's only three barrage weapons. Nade Launcher, Cryo Launcher, and Podgon. And... I mean, I don't think they plan on doing any new ones. Freaking Scorpius. That guy. Mr. Perfect. <laughs> I was fully prepared for you to take that shot and absolutely just like get destroyed. Hey, nice. Get a little bit closer. Oh, Mr. Perfect, you are gonna die, sir. I'm gonna do my best to not catch anything with a radius and get you killed. Oh, no! <laughs> that was unfortunate. It was marked. There we go. Ah, I missed the blast. That's unfortunate. Let's go. Let's go. Freaking... Oh, oh, there's two Scorpiuses there. Watch out. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a freaking nerd. Yeah. Look, I don't care what it means. You speak English or you don't speak. Nobody is going to go to Google Translate and translate everything that you say because you insist on speaking a language that you don't have to speak. Nobody. You clearly understand English, so... I don't know if Fenrir is in here, if he wants to join. Sword, welcome. I suck with mobile keyboards. Yeah, fair enough. I rely on autocorrect heavily. Actually, not even autocorrect. The auto-suggestions thing. Where it's like you type a couple letters and then it suggests you some words. Bro, I do that all the time. That's the, that's the only way that I type on mobile. I'd be grateful if you looked into the releases and free-to-play releases, see if there's a pattern. Oh, let's go. Yeah, but I don't think that there's going to be a specific pattern, though we might find some things a little bit more, uh, something, you know, kind of general. But, like, the mech release pattern has been very specific. It's exactly every seven weeks, and it has been that for, um... It's been seven weeks between Solus and Seeker, and then seven weeks between Seeker 
and Vortex. And I don't know between Vortex and... What was it? Hemlock? I want to try to get close. Oh, that's what you got. Look, pal. Look, pal. I see them. <laughs> nice job. Go. Oh. Get blinded, fool. That is mortars. Oh. Oh, it's a helix. Okay, fair enough. You Take that. If I can't hurt you, I'll hurt your retinas. You <laughs> gotta get blinded, fool. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Probably gonna die. That's mortars, eh? Wow, I didn't. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I really should have left. I really should have left that. Whatever that guy's name is, he's having to carry hard. Because I'm just like chilling here with like not great stuff. Hey, nice. Hey, yo, that was. Oh no. Okay, somebody marked me. I was gonna say that was cryogen. It was not. Would have been funny if it was, though. Hi. Wait, how did he? Okay, well. Oh, okay. I see. You got you got much closer. Makes more sense. Is that a Scorpius? That needs to go, bro. <laughs> Who has the hemlock? I love it. Give them emotional damage. Good job, fellas. Why this mech don't have missed target three second cooldown? Because it has an AOE. You can purposely miss the target and get multiple people. So that would be freaking imagine. If if you purposely missed it, you could just like absolutely spam those things. Which is a fantastic reason to not do that. Particle beam, I don't hate it, I'll be honest. But I mean, can you really have a test without trying, without testing a minigun? Uh, I have duration instead of cooldown, but it's fine. Cooldown doesn't help it that much. You having a maxed Orion, do you think that shield pierce implant is worth running? No. Because the only mech that it's effective against is Bastion. And I don't think it's ever... Uh, I don't think it's ever worth using... Uh, if an implant slot on a pilot for the sake of one possible enemy mech. You know, even like even if all the bots, it's just all the bots, or even if you know for sure every enemy has a bastion, it's still only effective against one mech out of all of their hangers. And bastion's very weak to no uh, Orion anyway, so you don't need it.
Should anyone invest into nades long term? Honestly, they're great. Planning to buy nade 8 and put it on Aegis. I'm not entirely sure how nade Aegis will work, but... Nades in general, fantastic. It's the most satisfying, in my opinion. This is very true. It should be coming. Yeah, you got it. Figgy Scorpius. Guys, shred so quickly. I feel like this might not be that bad. Oops. You know, if I was good at stuff. Yeah, okay, well, I should have known that. Ow. I got, like, pushed upward in. Oh, my So I can get that last guy. That is another... Okay. It's fine. Oh no! I was trying to see what it was. Okay. It's always the Scorpius, bro. Red, welcome. Get her off the center spot. Oh, okay. Ember gun on Solus is zero chance that works out, first off. Second off, I don't actually think I have my Ember 16 duplicated. I'm pretty sure I don't. Watching all the sweaty people put their nomads in into a 3,000 SP hangar, always spawn in free throw, bro. Right? It's honestly kind of pathetic. Red, did you want to join? Is it mag star? Yes. It is. Join you after lunch? Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Max Solis already, of course I did that, yes. This is true. To be fair though, I save all of my A coins basically after each mech. Because I kind of know what's coming. Because I'm special like that. Uh, <laughs> I typically, after each mech, just save my A coins from then on. I don't max out anything. I, I get some things to rank 6, but I mostly just let the blueprints accumulate. So I, I only have to cover like the rank up cost. Just so that when the next mech drops, I can immediately max it. Because that's just the way that I am. I want to have all of the mechs maxed. I try to keep my always focus on mechs first. Hey, nice. Which I think is a pretty solid strategy, honestly. I only have one ten meter range, so okay, let me do that. Nope, that's a Scorpius. You get out of here. Freaking Scorpius, yeah, thank you. Nice. 
Eh, I may as well reload, reload the other one. Night Flame, hello. Play custom against Seeker with Solas. Imagine. Now that would be a battle for the ages. I don't think anyone wants to fight my Solas, though. You basically, yeah. I don't think anyone wants to sign away their vision just yet. You gonna go until Sentry can take the stream? I mean, yeah, I can. Oh, that was weird. Keep blinded, fool. Oh, it's a Scorpius. It's a freaking Scorpius. Get him out of here. Yeah. Console's ability to deal with obstacles better than Hemlock. I mean, absolutely, because it has an AoE. Hemlock doesn't. The difference is just that if you hit someone with Solus ability, you have a couple seconds to probably do something. But if you hit someone with Hemlock's ability, like they're they're basically guaranteed dead, unless they have like a shield or something put up in front of them. There's almost zero chance they survive. Actually, let me change this. Train needs. Cryonade might be fun, though. But I feel like I want something with a little bit more DPS. Oh, I was trying to vibrate a little bit of refresh. Okay. Cax, too, if Cax wants to join. <laughs> we'll just go in order. I still like my Hemlock, especially now that I have Viper 8 on it. Nice. Bro, Hemlock is still one of my favorites. I think my absolute favorite favorite is Vortex, and then Hemlock after that. Oh, let's go, Apex team. Okay, I'm not going to spawn it first, but I will spawn it. There's some of the old DKG people. I'm not sure if any, anybody, uh, any of you guys heard, but I know some of you have, but... Apparently, DKG merged into Apex, which is very interesting. Get out of here. His name is Snipe You, and he has Helix. That's not a sniper weapon, pal. Look, I was doing you a favor. I was just getting you on brand. Fellas, don't rush into center, please, whatever you do. It's not going to work out, I can promise you. Also, watch right, watch right. Who's on the right? Caxes, okay. I will try to shift over to the right for you, Cax. Oh. Get him. Nice. Oh, Cax is blinded. I got you, I got you. I got you, pal. Okay, let me shift back over to the left, because everyone moved over to the left and is now leaving Blue Falcon by himself. I think I did mark him, though? Yeah. I was gonna say, judging by the speed of... Ju judging by his speed, it looked like he was in stasis, so... Works for me. Yeah, that went well. I see that, but they have a freaking panda barrier. 
And there's not a lot I could do about it. Although, this guy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Thank you. Good boy. I hope he doesn't see that heat. That might make him mad. Ouch. An Apex team? Yeah. This will go well. <laughs> Get blinded, fool. I wonder if he takes it with him. He probably would, right? Stop. Move. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna work. Who's on the right? Okay, it's just Cags at the moment. But then Mr. Perfect's on the far right. Oh, that was bad. Fellas. No. <laughs> Good job. Oh, is he, is he is he like jiggling on my corpse? Is that what's happening? Or is he just jiggling for the sake of jiggling? I don't know. It's hard to say. Apex Mobile Legends too, yeah. Exactly. How'd you guess? Good job, fellas. There's... Haha! <laughs> I'm surprised that we actually got them, to be honest. I'm... I'm actually just gonna move. You need to chill, bro. Okay, well. He did chill, but only after killing me. Which I feel like is not particularly chill, but hey, you do you. Also, goodbye. Oh, what? Not? Alright, fair enough. It's okay. Very sad. Wait, the timer ran out. Dang, okay. That was one of the very few matches that ended with uh, timing out. How about them? Predator, welcome. Yeah, Brillo uh, probably was reloading the entire time. The whales have killed all my bots. Bro. It's alright. We did well. We almost had them, to be honest. Hurtful but true. No, I'm, I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. We got very close, and I'm honestly surprised. This is this is keep in mind. This is supposedly the most competitive clan in the game now, right? That was the whole reason. Yeah, GG, Cax. That was the whole reason freaking DKG merged with uh, Apex. Organic, the guy on their team, is like one of their best players. And they barely beat us. <laughs> Maxed Puma. I wish. I don't have the blueprint still. I could upgrade it once, maybe twice, so I could get it to maybe six, but I don't think so. And then I'd still need 6,000 A-coins to get it max, which I could do, but I don't really want to spend 6,000 A-coins on Puma. I'm not going to use it that much.
the bots always have a tendency to steal my kills. Valid. Caxi down for another. I don't remember. Wait, did we have Mr. Perfect last one? I think we did. Apex Smoke is their best player. That man has wrecked me like crazy. Yeah, fair enough. If you completed achievements on any max, like fully, no. But only because I have not even remotely tried. Like, I legitimately don't care about achievements. And most of the achievement skins are mid at best. Organic is not good. Oh, bro, I could have swore he was. I don't know. I was like, I don't think I've ever fought him before. So maybe I'll get two kills this match. Yeah, if you if you reload while in cover, you'll be able to get a second one while reloading again. Why does it feel like bots are trash for my team and gods for my opponent? Skill issue. Yeah, that's just the way it is sometimes. You won't notice as much when it's in your favor. People only tend to notice when it's, you know, not in your favor. I'm the same way, obviously. It's just how people are. Keep blinded, it. I kind of don't want to, yeah. Thank you. Please. Oh, uh, get him. <laughs> okay, well, on my screen, he wasn't going to shoot me, but he did. Yeah, the AI is very inconsistent. Good job. Nice repeater, by the way. No, please. Should I use the tokens for the Souls event, or should I take the compensation for credits and acorns? I actually don't know what the Souls event looks like. You're gonna have to remind me. Uh what the what the drop rates are. Also, let me see if there's anything else I wanna use. Uh, uh fusion cannon, it's okay. Let's do cry for the sake of argument. Leave fucking this time. 0.2% for the bot. Oh, hell no. Nah. What are the... I'm, I'm assuming you get, like, probably two tokens and there's 20 total or something like that. You probably get, like, 10% of the total tokens. Yeah. I wouldn't. Oh. 
and everything else is 2%. So it just straight up has a hundred times, hundred times lower drop rate. Fantastic. Five tokens for probably a total of 50. Oh, we have a Solus Orion and a Hemlock. Let's freaking go. Pack him up, boys. I think I got him blinded. Five tokens for minigun three, I think, for so I don't know. Doesn't matter, it's not going to be worth it anyway. <laughs> Pretty much no shot. It would be worth spitting that. Come on, be optimistic. Yeah, no. Freaking Scorpius. There you go, finally. Three hundred A coins, much better than wasting tokens on Silas of it. Yeah, because you'll get like three thousand credits instead. Goodbye. <laughs> think like adidas nothing is impossible this is true it's not impossible but most things are improbable Bro, it doesn't. I say it really doesn't want me to invite Blue Falcon. Last Derby tokens, I got 300 acorns in exchange. Yeah. That's what, yeah, that's what that did for the last one. And there was 50 total, which, like, I wasn't expecting that. Typically, when there's lots of repeaters, I don't have repeater duplicate, 16 duplicate. It'd be OP if I did, but obviously, since I'd have to use, like, a single 16 and a single 12, it wouldn't work. Is Discontra Orion good? I would say probably, yeah. Oh, great. Like, one of the worst maps for this weapon. Fantastic. Isn't Repeater bad? Yes, Repeater's very bad. Why is your cryo launcher damage so low? Uh, it's hard to say. <laughs> the damage of this weapon is not particularly high. Nerd. Nerd. But also, if you have skill issue and missed half of your shots, then it's even lower. Get him. Okay, you got him.
Oh, come on, bro. Is that the projectile size is so large? It's weird. Like, it's almost impossible to corner shoot these things. Thank you. But it only helps so much. I can't blind the mom in here. Oh, that's a Scorpius. Freaking get him. What is this? Oh, it's a, Sc <laughs> it's a Scorpius. Get out of here. I think I'd have one kill. Oh, okay, three. It's gonna say the last like two or three of my of my kills have been stolen. Oh, never mind. Make that four or five. I do pretty good with my repeater eight seeker. Repeater is good on one mech, and it is seeker. And even then, oh, Mister Perfect uh, got kicked or something. And even then, it is not the best weapon for seeker. Which is, like, at that point, why would you even get it? It's probably much better, like, early mid game. To be fair. But that is not where I'm at. So, yeah, I, ju I just recommend nobody bother with Repeater. Unless and until they buff it. Nobody- I'm not doing it early. I'm down for a 24-hour stream. I will be doing another hangar review stream on actually what when I have a schedule. I don't know if you guys noticed the fourth Sunday of each month. So the 31st of March. I do it every month and I've been doing that for the past like Six, seven months. Uh, oh. Well, doesn't matter. By both. Oh, am I missing? Here we go. Gonna get food? Alright, fair enough. No worries. Be back in 30. Gotcha. You think of the chrome shin skin on Shadow? It's different to how the skin is on other mechs. The chrome, like the chrome dome skin? Is that what you're talking about? Those are alright, but they're, you know, kind of plain. The shininess is nice, though. So listen, 2v2. Honestly, yeah, I think I will do that later. Carbine. If Carbine 16 existed, it would be so OP. It would be so OP that nobody would use it. For fear of being called a sweat. Stop. It's definitely not for any other reason. Cut that out right now. Yes, 
should have got him. Oh, I can fire it over this thing? There's no way. It's, it's freaking over, bro. Get him. Well, I was gonna say if that was if that was a Scorpius, I'd have been scared. But it's just an Onyx. It's fine. Emotional trauma from hangar reviews, bro. Honestly, the people who collect the IDs. Those are, yeah. They get it more than me. Like, one of my mods is always here to collect the IDs. And then they end up getting, like, absolutely plagued by people who are like, you know, did you collect mine? Did you collect mine? And then they ask 30 seconds later, did you, did you get mine? Is mine there? And then there's always somebody who's like, I can't put my ID in. Can I, you know, like... Do it through Discord or something. It's like, nah, bruh. Oh, Platinum's here? I don't know if he wants to join, but... Also Wolf. They should just make carbines uh, epic rarity. Honestly. Hey, let's go. Can play custom match against these players. <laughs> Want to see a high level match? Uh, we played a custom match literally yesterday. Sentry streamed it. Solus wasn't out yet. Platinum, welcome. I've seen them all. It's been enough. fair enough. I have also been recording those. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them into a single video. Oh, that was weird. Hello. <laughs> Nobody went right. Nobody wants to go right. Is that a Stormwreck Chungus? Sometimes Sentry's style is very wild. Can't get enough of his playstyle. He is very aggressive, yeah. He's constantly looking for damage and kills. Like he's not he's not like, you know, aggressive to a point where he gets himself killed all the time. He's aggressive he's aggressive to a point where it's like he he's just looking for damage and kills. And that's his main goal most of the time, which is great. But that also means, you know, the rest of us need to focus on beacons. So sometimes we can't back him up all the time. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Ouch, yeah. I am a much more passive player. I played the long game. Which is probably significantly less interesting to watch. Wow. 
Wow, that guy, okay. Can you play customs? This stream? I'm not sure. Oh, it was a soulless charm rack. I need to duplicate my 16 round. Which I might actually do. Dog's going crazy. Y'all can probably hear that. No. Cry launch is kind of fun, but it's not particularly great. Disc launcher. Disruptor. I mean, I could try Disruptor. I'd have to take it off of this, though. What do I want on you? Beams? Sure. Cax, Platinum, Wolf, and... Here we go. Shinfu is also here. I don't know if he's in the stream. Are you using Dual Storm 12s? Oh. Those looked like 16s. I don't know why. But the, the difference in size between the 12 and the 16 is really small, I think. So his nades. I did try that. I did try that. I could go back to it, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if, I, if I'm streaming, I'm just going to be using random stuff most of the time. Or at least there's one build that's weird. Plenty of other places you could go for, like, meta stuff. Only reason I wish I had a bigger SP is to play with you guys. Only 5k in my biggest... <laughs> in my biggest hangar loadout. Fair enough. Pros and cons. You know? There's something... Sort of, uh... Sort of fancy, knowing that you're fighting against, like, the strongest kinds of players. But also, <laughs> you know, it is just objectively less interesting. You also face less players when you're high SP. They're all... Okay, wait. Oh, one of them died. Come on, two of them died. Come on, I can get there, I can get there. I'm just gonna say. That'll kill him. Yeah, well. It would have. Oh, no, you freaking don't, you nerd. Get him. Yeah, they're all over there. Uh, hello. Well, that's not fair. There's no way he missed. Oh, that's... Well, I mean, he didn't miss that one. <laughs> At least I killed him, though. That dip in the map. So annoying. No. 
Man, nobody killed that guy. That was with Blue Falcon literally in the last tournament bracket. Nice. What is Onslaught? That's the PvE. The first season ended, or or is going to end soon, I don't know which. The first season was, like, with Ares, and that was only available to new players. But this next one should be available to everybody. That's why it says coming soon. I don't remember if they said what mech it was. I think they said it was a legendary attacker, and that was it. Is there any way to actually avoid people who tank in tournament? No. The The reason people tank is because it's basically impossible to beat them unless you're also tanking. That is the reason people do it. Coming soon means it's going to take... Uh, yeah. Coming soon means anywhere between... Uh, like, two days and two years. Bro, the freaking... The friends list just keeps, like, jumping back up to the top. It's really annoying. And free for all, just concentrate on being top three. Yeah. Well, in free for all, I think actually the higher SP that you are, the um, the more points you can get because the the points are mostly based on damage, and uh, like kills get kills get you points too. But like the the you can get like twice the number of kills by tanking, but you get more than twice the amount of damage. You get like three times the amount of, and it ends up being. Uh, it ends up kind of balancing in a way that a maxed player will get more points than a player who's tanking. Which is good for tanking, but also creates a situation where it's like, you know, then the max players are more likely to win against just some, you know, low level player who is just playing normally. And yeah, I can't really say. Much about that. That just kind of is what it is. There's no way. Uh, I'm gonna have to move up if I want to get any kills. No! He wasn't even looking at me, it's annoying. I'm not gonna explain how to do it. If you don't understand what it is, then uh, I'll just leave it at that, honestly. I still win and I don't feel like I sweat for it, yeah. When I, when I used to play t uh, tournament a lot, what I would do is I would register in the last, like, 30 minutes. And then I'd play, like, five games and just, like, whatever I get from those five games is what I get. Which doesn't typically get me top spot, but what it does, <laughs> what it does do is it saves me a lot of time. Like, I would have spent a total of like an hour and a half playing tournament and I'd still get just as much as any of these people who are grinding for hours and hours and hours but just didn't grind as much as the next guy. So to me, it's just a better way of doing it. Like if it's basically just a toss up in terms of what your tournament bracket is anyway, you may as well just register as late as possible. You want to stay? Let's try staying. 
We should be fine to stay. Uh, platinum. Never mind. Fine. Nobody wants to. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Wolf. I'm sorry, Wolf. If it's bots, feel free to just leave. I didn't see it on my screen until the very end. I go into tournament for its last 40 minutes. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like you... <laughs> I'm sorry, Wolf. You, you can, you know, just, like, waste minimal time. Like, if you're probably not going to win anyway, you may as well just waste the least amount of time possible. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Particle Beam wasn't that bad. If I had Panther Protection... Oh, you can, yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, also, people who are in different time zones, it's also really, it's really difficult for them as well. Which is why, I, I kind of think it should be done differently, you know? Like, if for the most part, your bracket is whoever also registered around the time that you registered, you know, give or take maybe an hour tops. At least I think that's how it works. Um, if if that's how essentially the brackets work, then they like what they should do is just make it so that there's a time limit. After you register for tournament, you have two hours to get as many points as possible, and then you know it's it's over after that, right? That's what I think it should be. Because if you can do endless grinding and not get endless resources, then that's bull. Wow. Wow. The Scorpius really wanted me dead. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Yeah. Get him. You're a Scorpius. And I don't like Scorpius. This is unless I'm using it, or anyone else is using it. I don't like bot Scorpius. I should say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I body block? Who is that? Oh no, it's it's from the other side. I think. Having a closed bracket at your own convenience is just logical. This is true, but it also depends. I'm making an assumption about how the tournament works, right? Because if it doesn't work like that, and it works some other probably more complicated way, let's go back. Let's stay in the next match. Okay, let, I'll just, let's just put that out here now, so we're all on the same page. Let's stay for the next few. Platinum. I don't think he's been joining. I think I want. Okay. Scorpion sponsor BS. The shoot backward on 2v2 maps through roof holes. Yeah. They can do some crazy things. 
Scorpius is very underappreciated. I just equipped Helix 12. Oh. Fair enough. I tried Helix on test server and it was very good. Against bots, anyway. Against players, I'm not really sure. Last free for all tournament. Last matches. The first five. We're cheaters. <laughs> That's when I quit playing tournament. Yeah. But I'm telling you, bro. That is literally every time I read, every time I play tournament, the top three people are always tanking. Every time. That's just the only way. It's the only way to win now. And then, but you know, the fact that it's the only way to win is what people use to to justify it. They're like, well, you know, I'd I'd never win if I wasn't also tanking. Like, okay, well, whatever. Ruins it for everybody, but what are you gonna do? No, you're a bad person. At least it's a bot. I know for a fact he doesn't have the reload implant on. <laughs> hey, get back here, nerd. <laughs> well, I missed. Yeah, right, Falcon. You're fine. Hey, thanks. Scorpius. Bro. Oh no. <laughs> yep. SP dropping where I mean, yeah, everybody knows it works. It's just a matter of whether or not they actually want to do it. You have to stoop down to a certain level. Platinum Guru. <laughs> yes, sir. The game rewards tanking. Yeah. It really does. Soul is worth the 150 bucks to get? No. I don't think any mech is worth a hunt. I don't think any mech is worth the price that they've been charging nowadays. Genuinely. Because, like, here's the thing. Mech Arena, they, they release some, like, some things are meta, but they don't release anything that's fully game-breaking. So you could go without it if you wanted to. Even if you were trying to be top, top meta competitive, you could still go without it if you wanted to. So I do not believe it is ever going to be, like, worth that amount of money to get one thing. No. If you wanted to save, like, a third of that, get it when it, uh, you know, after the event's over. It'll be in the gear hub for 100 as opposed to 150 If you want to get it then, be my guest. Absolutely not worth 150 though. Their events are absolute crap now. Fellas. <laughs> Fellas. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Nice job. Oops. Oh no, I see Scorpius. Or no, that's a that's a mod. I thought 
thought I saw a Scorpius. I don't know why. I'm seeing Scorpiuses in my dreams, bro. My nightmares, more, more specifically. Out of ammo. This should be enough to kill him. I should, yeah. Nice, good job. Last guy, there he is. Oh, I was gonna throw my thing. I'm proud of my one kill with Felix. This is platinum. Good for you. We got four that time. Does the newer beam have more range? Yes and no. The beam itself has less range. The blast portion of the thing has more range, which I think is entirely pointless. Because if you can't reach them with the beam, you have no way of charging it up. I'd actually be okay if it was flipped. That would actually make sense, where it's like you can charge it up at any range, but the blast only affects people who are close. That would be fine. Apologies if you can hear the dogs going absolutely mental in the background. Come on. Yeah, get on board. That's a Scorpius. Oh no. I really wanted to... Mm, I thought it was worth it, but it was not. <clears throat> dogs that... Oh, you, you can hear it? Eh, it's sad. Those aren't my dogs, so I actually don't know. I'm not a dog person. I mean, I like them well enough. I like pretty much any animal, but I'm just not particularly a dog person. No, nope, that's a Scorpius. That's a Scorpius. I don't. I don't want it. Uh, thank you, by the way. Oh, it's another. He's gonna stasis me again. Oh, let's go. Ah. Well. That was my alarm. I was pulling a sentry. Dranslin, I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know if I want to know. So we're just going to leave it as it... Oh, okay. Uh, we I already stayed. So, if anybody wants to stay, just stay. I'm not gonna, I don't want to pull. A, I don't want to pull a Sanji. Gonna be it. All right. No worries. GG's Kax. What's your take on implant discount not coming back? They have specifically said that it's not coming back. I think it was in response to several people's comments on Facebook. It's not coming back. Instead, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be reworking the implant system, which you may have noticed from the last two dev vlogs. So they're going to hopefully make it better. Instead of, you know, instead of 
players relying on an implant discount, it would be better for them to just improve the system. I think everyone should agree on that. But I do think that this is going to be a very important update. I think if they make the if, I think if they make the implant system worse, then there's not a whole lot of hope for this game. If they make it better, then I think we're in a good like we're in you know making good progress, right? So there's a lot of things that I would say are not particularly great, and it's just taking them too long to fix their major issues. If the implant system gets worse, then yeah, I'm going to be looking for other games. Step, 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 step. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So his feet are screwed. He lost his toes, okay? It just happens sometimes. No shot. I had my resistance, bro. There's no sound coming from the game. Wait a second. Since when? Hey. Can no one hear games now? Has it been dead silent this entire time? I am so sorry if it has. Well, that was weird that Hemlock just... <laughs> it was not really paying attention. It's very faint. Okay, so it's there, it's just not turned up. Okay. That Scorpius back leg is doing some crazy things. Okay, let's go back then. Let me fix that. Should be easy enough. Should be literally just... Macarena Audio, turn that up. Falcon. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let me know if you can hear. The game sound now. You should be able to hear it while I collect this stuff. Tell me if it's too loud, too quiet, whatever. I think I have my game audio slightly quieter than I normally do. That might be why. Still a bit quiet? Oh, oh damn. Try this. Let me open this for the sake of a viper damage. There you go. You should be able to hear that. Tell me if it's too quiet to whatever. So this look like a mini version of Brick House. It sounds good. Okay. Keep in mind, though, my, uh, yeah, my, my music is, is at zero speed. I think the, like, the game, in game, the, like, weapon audio will be a little bit uh, louder than, like, the crate. So let's play one, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. Brillo Wolf Platinum. Is Chin Fu looking to shine? I haven't seen him in the chat, but he might be. Well, that's annoying. 
Yeah, sorry about that. It was probably like really awkward. Very quiet. Viper low again. Do you think the pop up stirring matches should be smaller on mobile? They block the middle of the screen for me. What pop ups? Not sure, like, what specifically you're looking for. Oh, you mean, like, the, like, well, the, the medals that you're earning as you earn them? Yeah. I don't think they should be in the middle of the screen. That's very, um, using disc 12s now. Let's go. If you're talking about, like, the medals as you earn them, like, yeah, kill streaks and stuff. Yeah, those are a little bit obnoxious, I won't lie. If that went up on, like, the side somewhere, that'd be fine. Or if it was at the bottom, like, just above your HP bar, perfect. Basically, nothing is ever going to be there. But I think... Like, there's the... Yeah. There's the kill feed on the right. I feel like the, like, kill streak feed, like, the medals as you get them. If you could turn them off, that'd be great, but... Also, it should just, like, pop up on the left side or something, similar to how the kill feed is. That's what I think. Stop it, you're a bad person. Yeah, that's nice. Haha, <laughs> I got him. Nerd. Oh, that's a Scorpius. That is a Scorpius. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Hello, sorry, I didn't mean to body block you. Chungus. Wow. Oh, let's go. We can do it. I need help. 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 Hey, hey, let's go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> They're large so that you can inform your teammates easily, yeah. Platinum quick. No, I go to the moon. He was trying to go over the moon, but he didn't. He didn't quite jump high enough. Think he's pointing to the communication icons. No, I don't think so. They don't show up in the middle. Uh, when you use them, right? They only show up, like, above people's heads when they're using it on your screen. Or I'd have to just, like, pay more attention. But even still, I'm able to, like, mentally tune those out much better than the, the metals. This is so good that I decided to not play. Exactly. Uh. Let's 
Eustis. Yeah, he meant metals. He said so earlier. They show up in your aiming range sometimes, they block it. Yes, but I can't really think of any way that, like, makes that better, you know? Like, using the attack now button on a stealthed enemy is actually, like, really, really useful. And it would be really difficult to communicate the, the cover me or I need help, which both are kind of the same thing, by the way. They should really just get rid of one. Replace it with, like, a directional. They should replace it with a directional command. Like, go here type of thing that you could put on any part of the map as opposed to... Even if it's just a part of the map that you can see. It should be able to be any part of the map. Not just an enemy. But anyway. My point is, it would be really difficult to communicate that you need cover, you need help. If, like, that showed up on the side somewhere. Like, that would be terrible. It'd be really, really useless. Because people would have to see it on the side, and then read the name, and then go figure out where that person is on the map. It's, t it's yeah, there's zero chance, <laughs> it's zero chance it would work very well. In a team of, like, in a five-team game, five-man five, five -man team game, yeah. Something like a battle rail with, like, two people, sure, maybe. But I don't think it would work well if they did that. No, the hemlocks freaking cheat, bro. Also, he's gonna come down and he's going to shoot me. Or maybe he's not. Hey, <laughs> okay. Oops. Look out. Nice. Ah, didn't time it. Hm. Yeah. Uh, do your gameplay. Welcome. Maybe when you say attack, this guy shows up a different color on the map. Uh, I don't know about that one. I still think it would just be... It'd be too confusing. There'd be too many things that you'd have to look at, too many things that you have to memorize. It wouldn't be the sort of thing where it's like, someone needs help, where are they? Oh, they're over here because the icon's above their head. Right, it would be, it would be, it'd just be significantly less practical to use it. Should I invest in my grab 16? Probably not. The 12 is probably fine. I like beams, but, you know, <laughs> the graviton 16 is probably only really good on panther and that's it. And it's only usable on Solus if I have Panthers as teammates. So, you know, still requires the barrier. And I feel like there's better weapons for Panther. You have to already, or you have to look already on the left side of your screen to see who's asking for cover. You don't have to look at that and see who's asking for it. If they say it, it's above their head. So, you know... You could look at the bottom and read who it is and then go find them. But if that was the only way to figure out who needs it, that would be really bad. Because no, nobody says, you wouldn't use it like that. I can guarantee you. The first thing you do, if you're able to help someone, 
is you look quick quickly take a look around you're like wait who needs help you see it above their head and then you know that they need help you're not going to look at it figure looking <laughs> you're not going to look cuz here's the thing you don't know where anybody is you'd have to put your cur- you'd have to put your targeting you'd have to put your target over each of your allies individually so that their name shows up cuz i'm pretty sure it doesn't unless you do that put your put your uh cursor over that so that their name shows up under above each individual person to see what their name is unless you're in comms or something to see what their name is to then be able to be like oh okay it's this guy who needs help by that time they're dead it wouldn't work is all i'm saying and if the names were constantly above people's heads then that would also be annoying so it would be completely pointless to swap the thing with the name. It'd actually be worse to do that. Titanium LTA. You have to go to work? No worries. Thank you for stopping by. GG's, by the way. This morning boy wanna join. Falcon. Yeah, okay, you see what I'm saying. The sun is a deadly laser. Uh yes. You have the 10. Getting the 10 to rank 6 so that you can use double 10s is fantastic. There's There are a lot of mechs that work really well with double 10s. There's only one mech that works good with double 16s. <laughs> Titanium is faith, by the way. Oh, okay, fair enough. We're Diamond LTA. Yeah, yeah. He's probably not online. Red. You ready? We have a spot, I think. Oh, no, Jim is in. We will have a spot next match. Does plutonium LTA exist? You know, it's a solid question. Let's. Don't want to go straight for the middle. It's probably a bad idea, but I will anyway. Hello. Let's get up on top. Try to smack their eyeballs from up here. Yeah. From the top ropes. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Oh, he's behind a thing. That wall doesn't render in but only because I'm using like the lowest graphics quality. Nice job. Somebody's over there. Whee. No? I swear that they were... There's this guy, though. Oh, it's a Scorpius. Get back here. Get back here, you nerd. Yeah. And freaking think so. I didn't freaking think so. This might take a second. Ah! Never mind. 
is it worth worth ranking Graviton 16 to 6 in order to progress to tier 9? Uh, it really depends on what your other options are. Unlocking Seeker would be great. But, you know, you can't get it unless you spend money anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's, yeah, I think we want to grab red, anyway. Okay. Red to easy, red to easy. I got 11 with EMs, yeah. I would assume that this is going to be another popular railgun EM rifle mech. To be fair. Is that red? I was gonna say. Somebody's got the helix. Is there someone out? Yeah, there is someone out there. Oh, he already used his thing, so it's fine. Aha! Nerd. <laughs> Get him. You can curve these up more than you can the uh, hemlock days. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to kill that eclipse anytime soon with Graviton Beam. Hello. Should be out of stealth soon, I think. Yeah. I got you, I got you. I already kind of love this thing as a support, not gonna lie. Like, I'm not going to get a lot of kills with it, but I don't care. Are long arms still bugs so they can't apply overheat? Probably. I don't know. Let's go back. Let's stay in the next one. Because I didn't say it, so I don't want to. Sometimes people can't see when when someone's staying, so. Do I want to change my weapons, though? I could duplicate Storm Rank 16, but that would cost, like, 5,000 acorns, something like, at least. As everything should be at least 5,000. But nah, it's fine. I'll keep it with beams.
You gotta sleep now? Fair enough. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. One thirty AM. Appreciate you staying up this late. I want to use them on my panther. I almost have futurist on it. Do you need it in order to complete the achievement? I mean, if you want to use, if you want to like buy and upgrade weapons for the sake of achievements, then you can absolutely do that. But it is going to make it more difficult to, you know, do other things because you just have less resources. I forgot what time it is. Oh no. Are you also going to have to go, Wolf? If you do, then we can go back. Otherwise, let's stay after this one. After the next run? Okay. So let's stay for one more after this. Get him. Oh, he's got stasis beam. I probably don't even need to blind him. That's a Scorpius, though. Get that freaking atrocity away from me. No. That's another Scorpius. <laughs> I got the search. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. At least I can just like immediately throw the next one if I need to. Yeah. One thirty a.m. Western Australia. Fair enough. Well, I did stay, so. I need eight stars to get to tier nine. And my remaining options that I own are rank two bastion. Rank 3 EM 16, rank 3 Hemlock, rank 3 Graviton 16, and rank 5 Gate Crasher. Uh, rank 2 Bastion would not only be pretty cheap, but also Bastion's fantastic. Definitely would go with that. Roma, my. Welcome. Step it, you mean. T Aww. I think if a bot's already shooting at you, if you blind them, they're just gonna keep shooting at you. Because they don't know any better. They don't know they're supposed to be blinded. It's okay, sometimes I forget I'm blinded too. Bruh. Everyone's missing that guy. Just 
Should I get Bastion after Nade and Helix Swamp? Um, would you use it? Like, are you planning to use it? Bastion's really good. Yeah, freaking Scorpius, get back in. I see her. He was hiding from me. He didn't want me to kill him. Oh, Wi-Fi is not great. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it was my stream. My stream looks fine. Alright, let's go back. I think Wolf is done. GG's Wolf. Thank you for stopping by. I mentioned Onyx before. But Bastion is another option for after the two weapons. I mean, Bastion is definitely better than Onyx, but I guess it kind of depends on what you need. Like, if you already have a lot of slow mechs, then you probably shouldn't bother with another slow mech. Like, if, if this is, like, stuff that you're gonna uh, use long term, I mean. If you're just, like, building up your inventory, you already have you already have good mechs and you're not really looking for... You're just looking for something for the sake of variety, then it doesn't really matter. GG's Platinum, you heading out as well? I'm using Panther, Stalker, Eclipse, Orion, and Surge. All of those are good except for Stalker. But... Um, you're also, like, Stalker is a DPS mech, right? I don't think we have anyone else that's in the chat. So let's just run with four, should be fine. If you're looking for another DPS mech, then definitely Onyx. But it kind of depends on the weapon that you have, I guess. Based on your hangar, though, you could probably use a tank. Just because you... The only survivability you have is Panther, and it requires... You know, it requires the ability. Once someone gets past the, the barrier, you're screwed. Oh, I got all of them. Hey, stop. Freaking hacker bots. I can't really go to center with this, but <laughs> I shouldn't go to center with this anyway. Yeah, I bought them. Ziffle take Redox. Build of Champions. Oh, you know what I just realized? The reason I probably have not been doing great damage and the reason that I only have 100 meters range is because I have the wrong freaking pilot on. I don't know how. <laughs> uh, somehow, I think the game auto-equipped the wrong pilot for me. Because I'm very certain that I tried to... I, I took off the last pilot and auto-equipped -equip the next one. I got you. It's just a bot, but hey. Ah! Okay, goodbye. What is a DPS mech? A DPS mech is just anything that you... Anything that you use... It's more of a build, not just a mech, but... 
anything that you use for the sake of just like getting the most amount of damage possible. Stalker has a damage boost ability, so that would be a DPS mech. Orion is kind of the same, but it's n the the build specifically is not a DPS mech. If he's using like real gun, Orion's a little bit dependent on the weapon, so I'm hesitant to call it a DPS mech. Someone get him. Please. <laughs> Good job. Head disconchers on my bastion. Now I don't know what to run after the nerf. Uh. We have to go back anyway. There we go. I might have just unequipped it and equipped it too fast or something. On Bastion, I really enjoy Minigun and Graviton Beam, honestly. If you have either of those, those are really good. Uh, Storm Rack or even Missile Rack, probably. Definitely not a Sniper Weapon. A Sniper Weapon won't work very well. Carbine might actually be decent. Just because, you know, it's a, it's a decent brawler weapon, though Graviton and Minigun are obviously better. If it's the only thing you have, it should be fine. You don't want a close quarters weapon on it, that would not work well, very well. And none of the snipers would work very well. You could run Helix if you really wanted to, but I feel like there are better options. Nade Launcher is also a decent brawler weapon with good range, but it's sort of map and situation dependent. So you could use Nade Launcher too. Rip internet. Hello. Who is this person? I don't really know. But hello to you anyway. Should take a look at the skins actually. All the uh I won't let just the white changing it to white's pretty legit. Blue is meh. Dark blue. Pretty solid. Red and decent. This is kind of nice. That's not bad. This is like literally just like Master Chief with Balloon Head. Um, I, I do like the white. It's pretty nice. This one's also nice. Yeah, some of these are pretty good. As for like secondary, probably the red's not bad, but probably black will just be the best one. Replacing Orion with wait. I'm from your previous streams. So oh, why are you in global chat? I see. Well, it's um, largely inconvenient to talk to you on global chat, uh, just so you know. <laughs> if you could, if you could do so in the stream chat, that would be, that would be very nice. Blabus, welcome. It's a good weapon to pair with Stalker as a free to play. Uh, Javelin Rack, Mortar, Helix, Railgun, even. Uh, you, uh, using <laughs> Stalker instead of Orion. It's actually not bad. In fact, I'll do it right now. 
it's pretty solid. I mean, like, the whole point is to just not get hit, because if you get hit, you're probably dead. Annoying me in this chat. Okay. Fair enough. In that case, I will ignore you. Good to know. I need sleep. Fair enough. Take care. Cheyenne Dave, welcome. Subscribe from India. Very nice. Making it make it a walking space orange. I can't. I don't have the paint for it. Yeah, bro. I told you I'm ignoring you. Ain't no way I'm gonna go out of my way. To reply to one person because they insist. I do this. I do the same thing with Blue Falcon, by the way. He insists on even if he's watching the stream, which I don't. I don't know how or why this works. Watches the stream but doesn't use the chat. Insists on DMing me instead. I'm just gonna ignore it because it's very. It's very disrespectful to say you know. I need to specifically go out of my way to have a you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation with you because you refuse to talk with everybody else. You have both Orion and Stalker? Oh. Railgun Orion is disgusting. Stalker's a little bit different. Oh, let's go. Stalker, you probably would want to use, like, Mortar or Helix Wreck. But if you're using Orion, Railgun, 100%. Because it is gross how much damage that thing does. Haha, <laughs> nice job, Shinfo. Yeah, nice. He just dashed. Which means he's dead. They have a helix. Oh no, I should have stayed if I was guarding that corner still. It's fine though. He thought he was safe to come back out. Yeah, see? Railgun Stalker? You could basically one-shot anything. But Railgun Orion, now that is a one-shot. Absolute monster. Oh, I didn't. That's sad. I kind of feel like I only got him with one of my weapons. Which may have been true. I should have fired them in sequence. That was dumb. Good job, fellas. Hey, was that a... That was a Solus, wasn't it? <laughs> Hello. Good job. Oh, he has a... <laughs> Railgun Sucker's better than freaking... Oh, no! I missed my shot. I would have had him if I didn't miss my shot, but I I was bad at stuff, and so bad things happen. Bad things happen to people who are bad at stuff. This is just a fact of life. I might go minigun bastion until Star Rank becomes viable with acorns. Honestly, between the two, I prefer minigun on bastion. Stormrack can be used better on other things. GG, fellas. Hey, the bot got them. Daniel Okeebo. However that's supposed to be pronounced. Just call you Daniel. Hello. Welcome. 
I don't have railguns yet, but I do have EM-16. Fair enough. EMs is much less effective on Orion, but probably it's probably fine on Stalker. Thoughts on Solus design? It's interesting. I actually look. It might be weird, but I like this foot. I like this foot design. As an artist who does not make very interesting looking mech mech robot feet, like I struggle with making them look interesting. Um, this is this is interesting. It's very unique looking. I like it. Dylan, welcome. Yes, Steve. Would you consider better EM Redeemer or EM Stalker? Redeemer. I'm not sure I want to progress with EM16 Gatecrasher anymore. That is valid. Gatecrasher's not the best. Redeemer's better than Stalker for EM Rifle, though, 100%. Because EMs will one shot most things anyway. You don't really need a damage boost, which is why it's really bad to put it on Orion, because you're wasting. You have a lot of extra damage. It's basically just like the most amount of overkill you can get. So if you do it for the sake of just like having funny overkill, then fair enough, but you're also like, you're wasting damage. If you put Railgun on, on Orion, or even Stalker, you can fire once and get like one-shot kills where otherwise, you know, in other cases, you wouldn't be able to get those one-shot kills. And then you can continue because you have more ammo. You could continue to get multiple kills in a row. Stuff like that. Is Guardian a cheaper Solus? No. Because Guardian requires being close up and Solus requires being far away. So they're different. I would consider... I would consider the Solus Blindness to be more akin to EMP than System Crash. Even though you still can move, like, you're probably not really going to. At least not in any meaningful direction, because you have no idea where you are. Is isn't Sunny supposed to be Cyberpunk Monkey King? How would I know? <laughs> I have no idea. It might be, though. So his feet bother me with their odd design, but at the same time, the oddness makes them look cool? I uh, yeah, I mean, I look at things... More so from a dis less less from like a you know is it cool and <laughs> more so more so just like the uniqueness I I value interesting designs just as someone who who enjoys drawing Mexican robots himself oh come on I didn't kill him with that That's dumb. Oh yeah, that's gone. It's gonna be great against Nomad. Now, unless you do dumb things. But obviously, I was, I was walking into their only beacon. I wasn't expecting to live very long. Do I know from of anything from Titanfall 2? No, I haven't played Titanfall. Which is sad. But yeah, the main reason is, like, I don't typically enjoy, like, PvE games, which is why PvE in, in Mech Arena is 
sort of a weird concept to me, and I'm not a huge fan. But hey, it is what it is. It can't hurt, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I am more of a, I'm more of a PvP, PvP person. I think Sentry summed up how Solus looks, which is Brickhouse's little brother who got lost in space. <laughs> exactly, bro. When I first saw Solas, I wasn't bothered by the backwards legs, but I thought its feet were clipped in the <laughs> clipping in the ground because of how small they are. Fair enough. Look up BT whatever the not right now, obviously. And quite probably not later. I'm familiar with how some of those things look. If that is the main uh, titan in that game, if that's like the main mech that that you use, then I am familiar with how it looks, and I can kind of understand what you're going with. I'm just not familiar with the name. Can do a very short resume of your experience <laughs> with Solus so far. Uh, yeah, it really, really needs a panther. Multiple panthers would be ideal, but you could use a single one because you want to keep yourself at a distance anyway. The ability does not work when firing through an ally Aegis Dome. Don't ask why, it just doesn't. It might be a bug that they patch at some point, but yeah, it is something that is definitely true. And so you can't use Aegis effectively as a protector for Solus, but Solus needs protection, otherwise it's basically worthless. Where'd this fool? Where'd he go? Did he die? Did I miss it? Probably. Honestly? Probably. <laughs> well, that's a Scorpius. The build is good, though. As just a general... As a general support. It's another one that affects Surge, so that's nice. Because you can't lock onto a oof, you can't lock onto a surge with a Ryan. But you can with you can with Hemlock. Uh, not lock on, but you can still fire it with Hemlock. Because Hemlock doesn't require a, a lock, and neither does Solus, so that's nice. He he <laughs> dumped himself into the pit. Let's go. The bots never do that. They, they have never done that ever, and I'm pretty sure it's because they both blinded themselves. And by blinded themselves, I mean I helped them blind themselves. Definitely they did it to themselves, though. Some people say that it rocks in 2v2. I, I bet it does. Yeah, 1v1, 2v2, it's probably, probably really good for that. But I haven't really tried it a ton. Uh, yeah, let's stay. I will probably try 2v2 later. Probably <laughs> tried it good times, yeah. Probably you'd want, like, Railgun or EM Rifle or some, some sniper weapon. More than likely.
You gotta go eat dinner. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I just saw that. No worries. Get him. <laughs> ah, thread at the needle. Hey, I got all of them with that. That's great. Oh, that's annoying. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, okay. Ow. You cannot blind enemies when they're in spawn invincibility, by the way. So if you know someone has a Solus and you're about to spawn in on them... Spawn. Wait. Don't shoot. Don't use your ability. Wait for a second. Wait for them to fire their thing. And then have at the... Where is he going? Is that a Scorpius? Get back here, you creeper. Being be able to go through structures bugs me. Yeah. It is kind of nice, though. It would theoretically take care of campers quicker than, like, you otherwise would be able to. You know? Especially in team matches, where you know, you know, someone could just, like, blind someone who's hiding. And then another, and then a teammate could go in and kill them without immediately dying to railgun EM rifle, EM rifle, whatever. So it's possible. It's possible that it causes people to to camp more, but it's also possible that it causes people to camp less. And it's hard to say. Because it's literally just released <laughs> today. So, yeah, I, I... I wouldn't claim to know. Hey, what you doing, bro? There you go. I kind of wish it did, like, tiny amounts of damage. It would be kind of hilarious to try to kill... To have, like... A challenge. Do like try to <laughs> try to kill an enemy with one of these things when it does like two hundred damage or something like that. It would be funny. But yeah, I don't think it's terribly strong otherwise. Oh no! <laughs> Fair enough. Try it with close quarters weapons? No. <laughs> and it won't work either, I guarantee you. Just because of the way it works. I haven't tried it with close quarters weapons on the live server, but only because I don't have my 16 of anything duplicated. The only thing I have is Fragment Gun 14, which is... You know, not necessarily the best option. Yeah, that Scorpius needs to freaking go. Hey, I got him. Nice job. Die! <laughs> Bro, I'm so stupid. That was so bad. I missed that. I don't think it'll be too OP, but it'll be annoying. This is true. Similar to Hemlock. Where it's like, nobody really uses it because it's not that good. But 
those who do use it <laughs> are annoying, bro. We'll see. Stormrack can do both jobs. Yeah. It's possible that Stormrack would be good, but I don't know if that would be the best option. Though theoretically, theoretically, if uh, you're always traveling with a Panther teammate for the most part, it would be basically the same, because if uh, otherwise you'd put Stormrack 16s on like Panther, right? Because Panther, you know, in order to step out from cover and be able to break an Aegis Dome with the Stormracks, you probably want... Ayo, why does it not work? Does it have a range? Is there like a range on this thing? Ow. What was... Oh, okay. Bye. But anyway. You could do something else on Panther and then put the Storm Rack on Solus because Solus is going to be behind the barrier anyway. Is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, that's a Scorpius. Let me at him. That. Oh no, I deserve to die. I, honestly, I deserve it. I deserve it. I missed that shot. Such an absolutely easy shot, and I missed it. This is Scorpius. I don't really want to. No. No. I. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not gonna get shot by you, you little turd. What was that? Thank you, by the way. You saved my life. There's zero chance I come out of that alive after that. Get him, bro. I got them both with the ability, that's actually hilarious. Why are you facing arc bots that change the way? I guess so, I don't really know. It might be because I have like a, uh, I have uh, some 9k players. 9-10k players on my team. But I think I was facing them when I was fighting solo too, so I don't think that's the reason. Any Vortex weapon rec uh, recommendations? I was trying to think of the word. I got a Vortex yesterday and only have used Helix Rex 10.6 or 10.8 and Voltaic RPG 8 so far. Uh, okay. Storm Rack or Missile Rack? Uh, Railgun's pretty solid. Or EM Rifle if you want. Otherwise, I have used minigun to decent effect. Same with graviton beam; those aren't terrible, but better to use like disruptor, honestly. Ouch! Yeah, see, the thing disappears if it, I think if it's above a hundred. If it's like 150 meters, it disappears. I'm going to figure out what the range on this thing is. It didn't have a range on the test server, let me just clarify. There was definitely no range limit. Because I was, I was pinging people with this thing from the other side of Elon Station. On the test server. But now I can't seem to do... Anything remotely similar to that. Oh, goodbye. I saw he was pointing the laser somewhere entirely different, and I knew... I just knew he was going to swing it around and smack me. Because he's a bad person. And bad people do bad things. Freaking Scorpius, get out of here. 
Oh no! <laughs> nice job. Thank you, Falcon. He was gonna kill me. Shoot him! Hold on. <laughs> Dinner speedrun. Let's go. Did you want to join? The matches? I mean... I need implants for miniguns. Let's go back. How bad do y'all think the smart rocket from the devlog should be? I think it's going to be a seeker situation where it seems uncounterable and OP, but they release it surprisingly balanced. I think it will either have a long reload, relatively low damage, a uh, long lock-on time, or a short range, something like that. Um, or, if it doesn't have any of those, then it will be probably counterable by some type of just specific strategy like Seeker, where you just walk backwards, and it's actually not that big of a problem. Obviously, you have to learn that strategy and get used to it. But before, and before you learn it, then it seems stupid OP. But as soon as you realize, okay, you know, just walk backwards, it'll spawn in front of me, facing away from me. I can get back damage on it. And so with most things, you could kill it fairly reliably. And it's also counterable with certain abilities. But it could also be that the main counter is just more Surge, more Aegis, more Eclipse. Which would suck, by the way. I am not a huge fan. Lucky Charm. Are you are you curious about any particular Vortex build? Because I will run it if you want me to. If the orbs go through walls, shouldn't you be able to shoot them while behind cover? Or does it only work when the opponent is the one behind cover? The, the orbs don't go through walls. The AoE is like EMP. Treat, treat it like EMP. It's not, it's not a damage radius. It's just a, an effect radius. So the effect can go through a wall if you hit it. You know, if you hit the wall on one side, the effect is, has, the, it has the radius to go through and onto the other side. That's, that's, the, that's how it works. I think somebody, somebody probably made a video on Solus and said that it goes through walls, and got people kind of confused, because I I definitely know that I er, saw something. Somebody had that same idea in Discord a couple days ago, or er, yeah, I think yesterday, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So probably somebody just said it wrong. But yeah, it's just an effect radius. Oh, let's go. It's time for emotional damage. <laughs> and retina damage. Red, are you ready? You are red, for sure. But are you ready? Yeet. <laughs> Get blinded, fool. Yeet. <laughs> Get blinded, fool. This guy. This guy, he thinks he's safe. He thinks he's safe. You're not safe. No, oh, no. He has a okay. More to start. Well, they actually they have multiple. Fair enough. I should be able to just go in there and kill them then. You without much trouble. Goodbye. Goodbye.
He doesn't know I'm here. He doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> hey, I fought this guy earlier. Let's go. Hello. Please stop. You really mean... Oh. I didn't kill him. <laughs> thank you. Whoever killed him, thank you. There's zero chance this works out. Yeah, thank you. Oh, 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 hey, good job. Fair enough. I'm burning through mechs like crazy, people. Okay, go back. I'm on my last one, but it's fine. Oh wow, who got me? Was it that? Okay, that man with his railgun probably. Sit. No, I am dead. Guys. Carry on my legacy. And by that I mean just don't die for like four seconds. <laughs> and a scene. What's the Lego star? Oh no, the, that's that one. You see the little, the scales on it. Looks like Lego. It's like the Lego studs. It's kind of hilarious. GG. Yeah, we can stay. Oh, red left. Maybe Falcon stays. Yeah, Falcon stays. <laughs> Me and Falcon. I'm not gonna leave because then Falcon would not realize that we're leaving, and, and then I'd feel bad. I think so. Most people I saw were saying that the orbs go through walls, which sounded weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's definitely not true. Honest mistake, though. They probably thought that you knew what they were talking about. But... Fair enough. When you're talking about an ability that is entirely new, yeah, you probably shouldn't make assumptions that people know what's going on. Blade, hello? I have one question. Is it better to run a 16-8 build or a 12-12 build for all 12 energy max give and take situation? There's no strictly better situ uh, there's there's not neither one are strictly better. The pros and cons it this is like an absolute like penny pushing thing where it's like you're you're trying to optimize things to the absolute best of your ability. But the the pros and cons of each. A 12 and 16, or an 8, 16, sorry. The benefit is that if you, specifically if it's a weapon that is more camper-like, if you tend to corner shoot like this, then you can... Oh, okay. If it's on the side of the 16, then you're dealing way more damage than you otherwise would with two 12s, right? So those type of weapons, specifically uh, less aggressive weapons, typically you can choose which side you corner shoot from. Most of the time, you're not really corner shooting out of necessity. It's mostly like you pick a spot and then you corner shoot from there. So that is the benefit. The uh, benefit of 212s is that you get consistent damage from both sides. So, corner shooting here from the left, even though I was corner shooting from the right a second ago, before I died, but, you know, let's assume it was the same mech. I would then be doing tiny, tiny amounts of damage, and I wouldn't really be able to do anything meaningful unless I fully stepped out and exposed myself. Or found a different corner. So if it's an aggressive thing, probably doesn't matter, because you're going to have both of them anyway. You could do it at 12 and 16. But also, if it's a weapon that, like, alternates shots. In some cases, especially when double damage chances are involved, you could fire 
one 12 and then, you know, fi fire 12 on one side, another 12 on the other side, and get a kill. Whereas, like, you might need to do a 16 on one side and then two shots of the 8, which would suck. So it's less reliable damage if you're using a 16 and 8. But that's mostly if you're, like, penny pushing camper weapons. Let's go back. You have minigun 16, can you try it on... I, I did before, and it's worse than Graviton, 100%. More damage, but it requires you to get closer. On most mechs, I would say minigun 16 is better than Graviton 16. But you absolutely need to keep as much distance with Solus as possible. So, Graviton, better than minigun, 100%. Just for you, though, and also because you don't really need to ask me twice to use minigun. I will, <laughs> I will do it. It's Minigun, who doesn't love it? Mechmania, Mania, welcome. Day's going all right. I woke up only, like, well, it's been like four hours now, but... For five-star heavy mechs, go 12, no matter what, because a 12, a 12 to 6 stars is usually cheaper than an 8 and a 16 at five stars. This is true. Yeah, this is true. In terms of cost, there is that too. I assume that you have all of them if you're if you're going to make that choice. But yeah, there is something to be said about like if you plan to upgrade it, then you'd have to buy both the 8 and the 16, which cost more to purchase and more to upgrade, by the way. Rather than a single 12 and then upgrading it. Right. The benefit being that you could just buy, uh, buy a 16 and an 8. And not have to duplicate a 12. But it'd still be much cheaper to just duplicate the 12. Having a 12-12 build would be more efficient. In most cases, yes. Typically, people don't go 16 and 8 unless they already have another build of 12 and 12. And they're using multiple builds. That's basically the only time when people do 16 and 8. Hello. I think the disc nerfs have helped most fragile mechs a bit. The likes of Cheetah and Stalkers, they won't get chipped away from behind cover. Same as before. Which is a good thing in my book. I agree. Just, uh, even just, um, that, that sentiment for Hemlock. Hemlock is not particularly fragile, but even Hemlock was basically unusable against players because of how much they'd spam Disc Launcher and how impossible it was to avoid it. Unless you're in, like, a 2v2, spawning a Hemlock was basically, uh, it was basically suicide. Ow? Yes, thank you. I appreciate your contribution. Let me go to the center. How many acoins does Macarena bribe you <laughs> every week to make videos? Yeah, I make videos because it's fun. I was making them before I got benefits. What they give me helps me make more interesting videos more frequently. I love my variety. Always have. Obviously, I'm aware that not everyone can afford to do it. But, you know. If you didn't have... I'll, I'll, I'll just put it this way. If you didn't have people like me who are using every different combination, every single build, in, in specific ways, and not tanking, by the way. Um then you wouldn't really know how effective these things are, and you would probably buy it thinking that it's good, and then realize after that it's not. So you could get, you know, 
you could get butt hurt that other people are getting more than you, but at the same time, you could utilize that resource and allow allow yourself to learn from people who do have it before you get it. Also, 12s are better late game than either 8 or 16. Uh, if I recall correctly, the... Yeah, let's see. The 8 and 16 combo of Disc Launcher provided, like, margin... It was, like, 200 more damage per second on average, which is completely negligible, obviously. But, yeah, Technic sometimes depending on how they're balanced out. Sometimes you can get marginally better DPS, but it's not worth it. Even if you're looking for a DPS build. Even if you're looking for, like, minigun, where it's, like, the only goal is to make it, is to, you know, pump out as much damage as possible. It's really not. It's really not worth it. There's too many downsides and only, like, one upside. Ah, that was dumb. Chill out for a second, guys. Would you say Solus is meta? Definitely not. And even if I would, I would de I would always, always, always recommend don't buy it preemptively. Wait, like, at least a couple weeks to see how it plays out. Because it could be that there's just, like, some random strategy that makes the thing absolutely worthless and it ends up being really bad once people learn about it. A lot of things take a while to settle into the meta. And also, even if you were willing to get it, I'd always say wait until the event, the like event crate ends, and then buy it for like a hundred, as opposed to a hundred fifty. Because you know, not that either price is good, but like there's one of them's just absurd. And I would absolutely never recommend anybody spend that amount. I like that you explain more about the question and give in-depth answers. I, I think I'm relatively good at explaining things, yeah. But I try to make sure that like people understand why I say things that I say. You know, I don't want to be one of those people who's just like, you know, just do what I say and then and then, you know, come back with your next question because you don't really understand why I said it. You, you're just doing what I, like, I don't want people to just listen to me because I said it. I want it to make sense. Right. If you don't think that it makes sense, then don't listen to me. How excited are you about the new Lancer? Honestly? It's hard to say. I feel like it'll be... I feel like there's a fair chance that it ends up being really, really bad. To a point where it's actually kind of irritating. Uh, like chain gun, right? Uh, I, I love myself miniguns, obviously. Chain gun's another heavy duty weapon. Normally, I would like that kind of thing, but chain gun's just so... It's so bad that I can't enjoy it, honestly. And I think there's a fair chance that the Legendary Lancer will be something like that. They tend to do well balancing their mechs, but there's always like that random, like, absolute miss. Like freaking Repeater. 
where it's just, it's not good on anything. Oh, goodbye. And Particle Beam. Tends to happen with weapons more than mags, but that's just because they release more weapons than they do mags. But yeah. There's a good chance it'll be an absolute flop. But it probably will be fairly fun anyway. So in that regard. I am curious for sure. What is that that's behind me? Oh! <laughs> that's what it is. I thought you guys were gonna kill it! Oh, that's annoying. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we've been waiting for a legendary lance for a long time. Ow! Also been waiting for a legendary healer. But at least, you know, at least they're coming out with a Legendary Lancer. That is something that people have been saying for a long time. So I will say, at least they're finally getting around to that. Even if it's a complete flop, you know, Lancer's the sort of thing that you mostly just use for fun anyway. What game mode would you add? It's hard to say. I think adding too many game modes just doesn't make sense, because it splits the players apart. I would say it would be amazing, though, to have, like, a map double the size, like, maps double the size that you normally get. Teams of 10, and a match time of 10 minutes. It would be absolutely phenomenal. I've always been one for larger scale battles, rather than just like the... Yeah, see, it's not doing anything. What's with that? What is the range? I bet it's at like 120. I'm gonna have to look at it. I have to look at it. It might be in the stats. Ow, they must have changed it on for the, for the live server. Which is interesting. Or it's a bug. One of the two. Could be a bug, honestly. It's probably more likely a bug, because they don't t typically change things before it reaches live server. Oh, another minigun. Nah. Fair enough. Bigger maps and longer duration. Yeah, that's just that's just my type of game, though. You know, I understand the the point of Mecarina is to have slightly you know quicker, slightly quicker battles, fast paced action. You know, is their goal. But honestly, I just like I can't resist a nice you know drawn out. I feel like the more time you give people the more strategy they have to employ. I hate that you can, like, cross the map in a matter of... five seconds. Oh, that was dumb. And by dumb, I mean terrible skill. The fact you can cross the map in a matter of, like, five seconds and take someone's back begin. It's just like, eh. The, the game changes too much, you know? There's not enough... There's not enough rewarding long-term effort, right? <laughs> Macarena Hunt Battle Royale, 100 players. That would be terrible because it's tr anyone with the max stuff would win. I'd have to say I couldn't really advocate for that. No more modes dividing the already small player base, yeah. See, if the 10v10 thing was strictly a custom match option, I would not mind that. Did 
Did I play with this guy? Was he in one of the last matches? Which match was it that we had players? Was it any of these? No, I don't think it's that one. Trying to figure out if this is somebody that like I should know. Isn't that one? Or if it was just like somebody who found me on Global Chat or something. That guy was in the OG map. Oh, I did fight him? Okay. Fair enough. GG. You're done for now? Okay, Kex. Having more paths to choose and strategies to employ within a map, though. Joking about the Royal. Yeah. 10v10 would be cool. I, I agree. It would be it would be nice, but I'm sure there's also issues with it. Would quite possibly turn into just an EM Rifle Camper Fest, but who knows? I think it could be fun. Still waiting for free for all custom matches, bro. That would go pretty hard, though. I'm not gonna lie. Say about a draft game mode, your opponent pick a mech and two different weapons out of ten. As that would be interesting. Like a one v one. I don't know. I'm 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 not one. I'm, not one for one v one. I don't. I don't think they're very. Uh, I don't think they're very interesting. But I do think there should be settings in custom matches where you basically have everyone using the same stuff. Like you force everyone to use the same stuff, even if they don't have it, they can still use it. But it's like everyone has the same thing at the same level, basically like clones of hangers even if it's even if the only option is to give people duplicates of your own hanger that would still be cool you know i, I would enjoy that but there's a lot of things they could do that i would enjoy to be fair survival mode with friends would be cool yeah the onslaught is kind of disappointing not gonna lie the music was jamming though Is the PvE thing becoming real? Yeah. It's in new accounts, and the this next one, it is the, the Onslaught event. So this next one is going to be coming for everybody. Am I particularly excited? No, not really, because it's like it's PvE. I don't think that should have been added to the game in general, to be honest. Um... The only reason that anyone was ever like, yes, give us... Uh, specifically the boss battle game mode was just because in their minds they're thinking I can, you know, queue up with friends and they can we can absolutely smack on just a single bot for like two minutes and then they'll give us A-coins. It basically is based on the assumption that they get A-coins from it. Easy A-coins that would be, you know, yeah, it'd, be, it'd be easy to get and, and they're basically thinking thinking about the acorns more than the actual game mode. But that's just my opinion. We already have PV. Yeah, literally. It's, like, it's just every match. I hope they rerun the area skin, honestly, though. It looks really nice. Well, Ziff is saying, he's saying that we already have a PvE in the sense that half of our matches are just bot matches. Which further re that kind of fur further reinforces my theory that most people aren't actually looking, they don't actually care about the game mode. 
They just want a game where they are guaranteed to not have to face any actual players, and thus, assuming that that game will give you A-coins, that's easy A-coins right there, right? But that's making the assumption that it gives you A-coins, which I can pretty much guarantee that it won't. been seeing a green panther skin for two months and I haven't seen it anywhere afterward. That would be like the uh, Falcon 04A or whatever the heck it's called. Red has that skin. It's technically in the game. But it uh, there's there's no way to get it. But it is technically in the game. The only way you can get it is, uh, like, if bots... Well, the only way you can see it is if bots have it. And the only way you can get it is through those, like, community events on Discord. Where they'll give you a legendary skin of your choice. You can ask for that one. That's what Red did. Instead, instead of asking for that witch, you know, I, I wouldn't have anyway because it's Panther and I don't like, I don't like Panther. But instead of asking for that one, I asked for the Dream Eater Hemlock skin. And then literally, before they even delivered it into my account, the day before they delivered it into my account, that skin appeared in the uh, Fortune Vaults. And I was very sad. But it's fine. I only spent about, like, 50 hours grinding that Tango event. So... <laughs> It's not like it was a big time. It was a very big time. So. Got a fun stream out of it, though. I'm just gonna reload. It's not even worth it. Could they have gotten the area skin? The area skin didn't exist back then. But I think theoretically, no, because the Ares skin is a limited edition, not legendary. And I think the rules were that you if you could you could get any legendary skin. But now that the now that it exists, it's possible that, that they give it to you. I have no idea. But yeah, at the time, that skin, nobody had seen it and it didn't exist, so. I would not know. I got you, I got you, I got you. There you go. Look out. Thank you. Not sure what they could do for a new game mode. It's hard to come up with a flawless concept. A large battle royale would be dominated by scouts and snipers. It wouldn't be fun. Yeah. And then, like, a 10v10 would probably also... It would be very dependent on how they structure them at WoW. Truck 55 was freaking balling. Anyway. Uh, depending on how they structure the maps, a 10v10 would also be really bad. In terms of, like, item variety. So it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Do you think they'll add more collab pilots later on? Yeah, I think that they will, but it's, you know, it's not like they have a collab schedule, so it's, it would be impossible to say who or when. Baymaster, hello, welcome. I'm doing all right. So how does it work? Like, what happens when they're blinded? Uh, they... <laughs> they get this white flash on their screen, and it's really... I Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's like an actual flashbang in, like, any other game. 
And uh, yeah, that's basically it. It removes like target locks, so you can't use Helix or Javelin Rack or anything like that that requires a target lock. If you're using Disc Launcher, then you'd still be able to fire it. It just wouldn't be a it just wouldn't home in on the enemy. Um, currently, I can only assume that it's a bug. Um, currently, there's there's a thing <laughs> where like when you when you blind someone, they can't turn. Like on their screens, they can turn. But they they actually cannot, so it, it's a little bit weird. I, I would assume it's a bug because that doesn't make any sense. But it's kind of like an EMP at that point. But yeah, it's very short, so it's not the sort of thing that you could just like infinitely blind people with. Uh, I want honestly, graviton beams kind of like my favorite one at this point. I could do Disc Launcher, though. I don't hate Disc Launcher now that it's less stupid. My boy. Shifu. Onyx. Yeah. What's he doing with an 8k hanger? That's interesting. Do, they think, do you think they'll add pilots with extra perks like Neymar without needing unclimb? I think they should. Whether whether they do or not is entirely up for debate. Oh, he's rebuilding, rebuilding his hangar, that's why. Um, whether they do or not, I couldn't say, but I think they should. How long are they blinded? It's like three seconds. There's the two, you get two charges, so like you could do it twice in a row. But uh, they don't stack, so if I were to fire the second one before the first one runs out, then both of them, then, you know, the, the second one's just useless. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't reset the blind time. Which is good info, but also, you know, that, that means that, like at max, if you fired both of them, it's six seconds, which is still a less than hemlock. And you can still use most weapons, most abilities. And move around. You just don't really know where you are. <laughs> it's happening. Ruffles is using just launchers willingly. No, look. You don't understand. Somebody's forcing me. It's just, you know, you can't see them. Hi. Thank you. Someone's gonna come from this side, right? Oh, yeah. No, please! That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Get out of here, nerd. Would you say it's good? Like, what out of ten? Uh... I'd have to define what one and ten are. I'd say it's about as good as Hemlock. So, like, maybe 7. 7 out of 10. It is not the sort of thing that anyone needs to put in their hangar in order to be competitive. At least I assume. Obviously, it's still new, so, you know, take what I say. Uh, the grain of salt. I'm not going to claim that I know exactly how everything's going to play out. With like, ah, five. It's like less than five hours <laughs> of game experience with it. It seems good, but it's, I don't think it's going to be OP or anything like that. I don't think I have gotten a single MVP with it versus players, I'll put it that way. Thank you. Hmm. 
Maybe it would be more expensive if they do. What do you mean? Oh, the, the pilots, you mean? If they made, like, another tier... We, let's let's try to stay. Everybody's down for that. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this should be obvious to everybody. Eventually, at some point, if people are still playing this game, like, three years from now, obviously they don't want 500 legendaries legendary mechs even if they start even if they started adding more rare and epic it's it's still that's a lot so they don't they don't want like eventually at some point they would have to introduce another tier of items another uh, rarity right and at that point they might they would probably introduce new rarity of weapons, and probably a new rarity of pilots as well. But I don't think they would do pilots without doing the other two. That yeah, along with, like, implants probably as well. Well, I forgot. I do zero damage if I'm in range. So I think they'll do all or nothing, where it's like they introduce all of it or they introduce none of it. More than likely, they would. It would be very, it would be a very interesting situation. I don't want to get into too many details because obviously it's entirely theoretical. But I have certain ideas as to what would probably happen. I think it would be cool if they made like limited edition um, mechs and weapons similar to the pilot, where it's it's not strictly OP, it's just something that's difficult to get, you know? Like Neymar. Neymar is not OP. It's just different. It does different things, and not everyone has access to it. That's basically the only thing. I think they did, I think they did Neymar very well. As opposed to when it first released, bro. Chop it. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Nerd. Where's the last? Oh. She's dead. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Man, why does the redox seem faster? That was weird. Also, we should go, we should go back. We, should, we need to go back. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I keep forgetting. They have limited edition mechs or weapons. They cannot be only available to whales. I mean, so long as uh, pretty much everything is only available to whales, to be honest. But <laughs> so long as it's not OP, they would be mostly fine. But they'd probably do an event for it anyway. I mean, you're not going to release something that's limited edition and not give people at least a reasonable chance of getting it like the entire point of limited edition thing is like you had to be you had to be there type of situation so i don't think they'd i don't think they'd make it like a paid on event uh i'm gonna think at this Okay, excuse me, but this does not show ability range whatsoever, but there is clearly an ability range. I don't, I cannot blind anything that is further than like 120 meters, I think. I, I like, I legitimately just can't. The orb still goes and it still explodes, it just doesn't do anything. It's very interesting. Took a break from the game and missed out on a chance to get Neymar. If. Hello. Hello there. So I know I was watching your stream. I was gonna say the staggering is not a bug. We. Mhm. Mm 
that's if you have the duration, for example, and if you imply yeah. the solace effect again right before the final seconds, then it will not, impl not apply for the full duration. That is interesting. So, well, you can try it uh, for the remainder of your stream. Have so. you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, if, you, if you have the duration implant, you need to count to four, and then you apply it again, then it will work. And if you count to three and then apply it again, then it will not work for the full duration. It will only last like two seconds or even one. Oh, um, as in like if you st if you stack them? Yeah, if you stack them. Oh, stacking just doesn't work. Just straight up doesn't work. Yeah, no. It, it does work. But after, if you do it almost instantly, like after two seconds, then it does has that ad additional uh, duration a bit. So you have to wait two seconds before you can throw the next one? Uh, well, That's always well, wait four seconds. Four seconds is the most efficient, so you don't stack them at all. But right before the end, then it doesn't stack. I'm slightly so confused. I'm slightly confused as to what you as to what you mean. Put this on. That it, it only stacks under the certain conditions. Right. So. So okay. So I so I have both orbs. Right. I throw I throw the one. It's a just a classic three second duration. Right. Yeah. So so what is it that makes the second one not work? Uh, just the final second, when you throw it in the final second, and I assumed it was just because if you have the uh, uh, duration implants. Oh, duration. But it, it's apparently for all, I think. Oh, I okay. Know. Test it. So, so if you throw it immediately after the first one ends, then it doesn't work, is what you're saying? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I knew about the stacking thing. I did not know about that. Did you hear the what I was just saying about the uh, the apparent ability range? Fifty meters. Fifty meters? What do you mean? I don't know. So someone said fifty meters today. Well, what was the apparent ability range? It's like a hundred twenty. If I can't, uh, I I it, the the thing just won't work. It won't blind anyone if it's over a hundred twenty meters. Yeah, or I, I think it's roughly say, that. I heard the deaf say 50. <laughs> 50? I, th I know, like, the radius is 15, but, like, I don't know what 50 is about. I've definitely done it over 50. I think that was the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh... But it's weird that it's not in the stats. I don't think it's supposed to have a range. Because it still goes... It still is, like, homing, right? It's It still goes out and explodes, it just doesn't blind anyone if it's too far. I think it's another bug. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna foul a lot one. A lot lot of bugs. <laughs> right. And I don't think it's supposed to be able to cross walls. Because that makes it very overpowered. Well it's just the radius that can it it's like EMP, it's just the radius. Mm-hmm. But and the weird part is, it's very hard to get the legendary was implant. That? Right now, there's a playoff event going on to get the legendary implant. Oh, uh, <laughs> bro! I just saw freaking railgun Scorpius fire at me with like, it had like double the RPM. I have no idea what was even happening. It just absolutely machine gunned me with railguns. Good luck with the stream. Thank you. My issue with special uh, perk pilots is that we have a mech meta and a weapon meta. Not sure if we need a potential pilot meta. Yeah. That is the main issue, yeah. For sure. Which is why, you know, pilot perks 
should be something that are very minuscule. And you should always sacrifice damage for it, right? The way I see it is that the current pilots are basically just... You get nothing except raw DPS. And so there will always be a situation where the raw DPS is just better. The special perk should just be something extra that you wouldn't want to use on everything. The sort of mech dependent, sort of uh, weapon dependent. And... You know, so long as the perk is not super, you know, it's not like a massive thing. It's not like a freaking 75% double damage chance, whatever. It's something modest, like, you know, just the sprint. They could have one that increases mech HP by, like, 10%. They could have one that increases, um, speed, even, by, like, 10%. Because, like, 29 kph would then turn into, like, 32 kph. It's only three more, roughly. They could have one where that increases the radius of mech abilities. Like, it, it could be pretty specific. And not necessarily, like, OP. It would just be this sort of thing where it's, like, you know, with a certain... Pairing it with a certain mech and a certain weapon would make it a a better combination than just raw damage. The last community event I can see was last year. Uh, I mean, they hide them after they're over. On Discord, you mean? This was last year when I, uh, when I did like the community event for the uh, it was it was like the like a Tengu Sky Strike challenge is what it was called, and I got the Dream Eater skin for Hemlock from that. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, I haven't really participated in any of them. Because the reward rewards were just, like, you know, small amount of acorns for a small number of people. And clearly, I don't need it. So not only do I not have a great chance, I also wouldn't want to rob someone <laughs> of acorns when I clearly don't need it. That's the one thing that War Robots did, right? Mech-specific pilots instead of weapon group-specific pilots? I mean... This is true. I mean, pilots that are more oriented toward mech types as opposed to weapon types would be nice. Mech-specific pilots, though, I'm not a huge fan of. Because that means every time you get a new mech, you have to then get, especially in War Robot's case, it, the mech was only really effective if you bought the pilot as well. And that's just like, yeah, nobody wants to deal with that. It would make them more money. Well, yeah, but that's, you know, not everything that makes them more money is necessarily a good idea. How much acorns for the last one? The last one that they did, I think it was like 800 or something like that. It wasn't a lot. Basically, the perk would be nice to have, but you can easily go without them. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, having a having a pilot where it's like a specific mech combo does better with this special edition pilot than it does with just a regular pilot. That's fine. That's the way it should be. But, you know, it's not the sort of thing where it's like you have to use this pilot if you want to compete end game type of thing.
feel it needs to be something that works on all mechs, but works better on some more than others, so it's not like a mech-specific implant. I mean, I like the idea of mech-specific things. There's pilot-specific things. <laughs> or not uh, weapon-specific. Like, all the... All the other pilots are weapon specific, so having ones that are mech, uh, mech specific, n not not specific to a single mech, but specific to like a mech group or a mech type. I could get behind that, honestly. But I get what you mean. Something that's just like 1% HP uh, heal per second. Would be really useless on something that's weak, but would be really useful on a tank. Something where it's like, you take marginally less damage from the side and the back. It's like, instead of... Instead of pe people doing twice the damage from the back, they deal like 1.7 times as much. Still, obviously, a lot. But it's not, it, you know, it's basically for the sake of, like, penny-pushing specific builds. There's a lot of things that could work. Can you run Arachnos? I could. It is a thing that I could do. Alright, let's go back. Let me put Orion back in here. Um, I will use Arachnos instead of Vortex. And I don't want Disruptor. I think I want... Not Railgun. I'll probably do Missile Rack. Because at least I have that on Neymar. And then for you... I'm actually thinking... If I have teammates anyway, I don't really need something this fast. Seeker. For maximum emotional damage. With repeater. Although, probably Fragment Gun's better. I have Fragment Gun. The, the Fragment Gun has better DPS. And I have it on a Legendary Pilot as opposed to Neymar. And I have a better range. This is a situation where damage it, the damage is just straight up better than the, the extra mobility from, from Neymar. And damage, like more DPS, is always a, a solid option. It's like speed. Like, there will always be a form of speed meta. Oh, Kax is back on. I wonder if he's looking to join again or if he's just chilling. They could do something like that. Instead of weapon type damage, keep general damage bonus and swap for mech bonus. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. And they could have both, right? Like, it's not like they should replace the weapon specific ones with mech specific ones. They could just have both, where it's like, sometimes... If you're a sniper, you probably want weapon damage. If you're a tank, you probably want mech HP, something like that. Need more spider mechs real? I don't know why, but Solus looks good with graviton beams on it. It does, kind of. I really like the skin on Vortex, not a big... I'm not big on skins, but that one is cool. Fair enough. It is a nice one. I want a tank spider mech. You know what? I never really considered that, but now that you said it, I want it to. Tanky spider mechs look good. Oh, that's... Okay, fair enough. 
sounds wonderful. More defensive pilots that could... That would have been something in my interest. DPS to HP ratio wasn't that favored toward DPS. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be, like, just straight up, you know, replace the damage with HP bonus. That would still not be entirely beneficial. Except, you know, maybe, maybe on Vortex or something. <laughs> Maybe something like Vortex, where it's just like the HP, full, while its ability is active, the HP is just like absolutely absurd. Then that might, that might be something you would be inclined to use, but yeah, in general, the damage to HP ratio is just so skewed toward damage that it's not worth optimizing your HP in most situations. Imagine if I had the radius implant on this. Oh, <laughs> I heard Ember Gun. For a second, I thought Blue Falcon had a freaking Ember Gun brick house, and I was going to be like, bro, there's no way. Something like Lifesteal, Passive Healing, Heal on Kills. Honestly, though, yeah, those would all be great. I agree with that. Can you run Helix Orion? Why though? It's Helix Rack, it's so boring. Sure. I'll stay I'll stay in team one one maybe one or two more matches, but then sure, I can probably do that, it's fine. Can you imagine a spider mech that becomes immobile and gets an inbuilt weapon? Yeah, literally Bastion from uh, Overwatch just like transforms into into a freaking minigun turret. That's what that's what Scorpius should have been, but instead they make it like a javelin array annoying thing. But if they wanted a legendary Rachnos, it should have just it should have been like a slow tanky, just transforms into this like utter DPS bullet bullet rain thing. It would have been hilarious, honestly. Even if it wasn't good, it would have been hilarious. Get my spider trade still down there. Probably want to go over here. Oh wow. Yeah, I took a lot of damage. The Arachnos turret is just sad though, and it's... <laughs> you hate to see it. Like, the damage from it is just so bad. Like, it's almost funny how pathetic with that is. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, Arachnos versus Scorpius, who wins? Obviously, the cheater wins. Freaking hacker Scorpius bots. Hey, yo, oh, I didn't even get him. Sad. I see you right there. Yeah, nice. Minigun surge, I love it. Why are you firing at me, bruh? That's not right. There's literally a dude on your last beacon, and he's like, nah, gotta shoot this guy. The one from Warabas activates his shield. And is un unable to move in tank mode. Uh, is either Raijin or Fujin. For more robots, yeah.
Both were fun, though. Something I hoped for Sentinel when the shield would become bigger and get 50% damage resistance. If Sentinel didn't move for two seconds and deactivate as soon as starting. Yeah. So here's the thing is like, even War Robots with all of its like ability animations and ability delays and all of that stuff. Do you know when, I don't know if you're, I don't know how familiar you are with, um, with all of the different robots that came out in that game, but there was this, there was this one called Behemoth when it first came out. Basically, it has two heavy weapons, and uh, when you use its ability, it became immobile. It, like, kind of stomped on the ground, and then it, it had two other heavy weapons that would come up, and it would become immobile. It would just be, like, an absolute, like, it was, it was the most DPS you could get on a robot, right? But everyone was super annoyed that the ability wasn't instantaneous. They were always like, oh, you know, it takes too long for it to... I don't like, you know, the the animation, I don't like it. It's like... People don't appreciate those types of things. But, like, you can use animations and delays as, like, as a balancing factor for things that would otherwise be kind of OP. And I like the concept of it, but I think people would be annoyed if they did it. Just generally. Do you think Arachnus' turret needs a mega buff? That's not really a question. Everybody knows. We have a vortex for that already. Behemoth, my beloved. Yeah, I never got one. But I was definitely I was definitely around when it came out. Would you believe me if I told you Arachnos has an achievement for killing bots with the turret as they try to capture your beacon? Oh, I know. I'm aware. Possible, possible idea for pilot perk is that any tank mech the pilot is equipped to gets a very tiny health regen when they aren't taking fire. Yeah, like, true, true. When you're not taking fire, it would be it would be nice. So long as the health regen is small enough, you wouldn't want it on a scout, right? You would you would just naturally put it on a tank. You take like surge for example. Like obviously, if you're dashing into someone. You want as much DPS as possible, right? That you're you're sacrificing HP for damage. You're not going to want to sacrifice the the thirty forty percent. Uh, is it beam? Yeah, beam weapon damage thirty percent. You're not going to want to sacrifice the thirty percent damage for the sake of a really sh you know a really weak passive heal. That you're not going to be able to take much advantage of because you're constantly like in the fray. Probably you're not going to go for that. You would naturally just put it on a tank, especially specifically something that can protect itself with its ability, like Aegis, where it's like you don't need to be taking damage if you're in the dome because you're protected. Like even if your dome was getting shot at, you aren't. And and that's th that's something I could see happening and, and coming out pretty balanced. It would be nice. I do think, yeah, I do think passive healing would be something that should be like MD, where it it stops taking effect when it's when you're taking damage. That is a good idea. The reason I had a delay is so it doesn't keep moving and only stomped when an attack is incoming, so it stands blocking a single point because you know Sentinel. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. I like the idea of lovers. What I'm saying is that people aren't going to appreciate the purpose of it. They're not going to appreciate the idea and they're just going to think, "Oh, I can't move anymore. I w I really wish I could move." You know. So that's always something you got to, you know, kind of keep in mind. But the general idea, absolutely, I understand. My idea for a pilot perk is that the perk only applies to tank mechs. Why? I mean, I could understand, like, tank mech HP because there's beam weapon damage. There's a pilot specifically for a specific weapon group damage. 
but if you said uh you know beam weapon range like not all of the beam weapons need range you don't want range on all of the beam weapons right like it'd be good for particle beam but it wouldn't really be any good for like graviton so having something that is specific to a mech class but also further specific to a point where it will only be useful for a couple items inside that mech class i'm not sure if that's a great idea What are your thoughts on them making a mech that can launch up in the air and fly around for eight seconds and you can shoot from above? Uh, flying things, I don't know if they plan on doing it, but it would be fun. I don't think they'd be, like, game-breaking or anything, because, like, with the number of snipers that are around, people are going to freaking take you out of the sky. Like, even if you had stealth... People could still absolutely drill you. Okay, let's... Let's do Railgun on you, for the sake of argument, because I haven't done it. Flying mechs should not exist. Eh, I mean... Arguably, floating and, you know, rolling mechs also shouldn't exist, but hey... It do be the way it do. You meant the previous idea. You said it would specifically apply. I know. I'm aware. That's why I. That's that. That's why I specifically said that it should not only apply to tanks. I changed it to make it better. In 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 my own opinion. Right, let's play one, and then I think I'm going to take a short break, and then we'll keep going. You still move, but the extra shield stats only activate if you stop moving. That is an interesting idea. Yeah, the Arachnos design is a little bit weird. It looks cool, but it doesn't really reflect how terrible it is. Right, let's start with you. And then when I inevitably die, I will change to the Orion, I suppose. Good old. Never mind. Who has the chain gun surge, by the way? That's <laughs> a gag. Let's go. Chain guns OP. No, it's you. Uh, I tried to save him. My bad. Did I body block you? You should allow them to climb walls. Yeah, I've heard that. I'm not sure how practical that would be. Alright, cool. I will 
take a short break. Quite possibly get something to eat real quick. Yeah. So give me like, give me like 10 minutes.
Okay. Let me take that down. You're gonna sleep. Dresden, fair enough. We have a good night. <laughs> Rage incarnate official. Welcome. Nice hanger. Appreciate. Uh, this is <laughs> definitely different than I normally have it. But hey. Hey, Mr. Perfect's back. Blavis. Still here? Nice. Alright, let me invite him one more time. If he doesn't join, we'll just run a four. Should be fine. Okay then. Or it is. Let's do this should be fine. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I think Platinum... Apparently Platinum also knows about the range thing. I think he says that it's 140 meters, which is the range limit. I will take his word for it, because I have not tested it. And also he sent a video, so... I don't really need to take his word for it. Oh, Falcon. Good luck. Come on. Go, yeah, wait. Hold on. He wasn't even looking at. And I don't even mean the laser, I mean on my screen, he was legitimately... On, on my screen I was too far into cover for him to even hit me. Oh, close. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. No. Hooray! But it wasn't against players, so... Let's go back. Oh, I can do this. No, uh, two secret blueprints. So excited. Mm, do I want to change anything? Probably should, but I won't.
Do that one more time. After this, I might do 2v2s, actually. See if I can find anyone there. Very nice. I don't know. Right, okay. I, I would assume Sentry is going to be getting online like an hour. Maybe two hours from now. I can't remember. Do you say it was like 4 p.m. his time? Or 6 p.m. his time? He stopped freaking sideways dashing, bro. That's weird. Man. Oh. <laughs> Hi. He's dead. It's fine. Hello. Oh. Okay, well, he clearly did not care that I blinded him. I'm pretty sure he wasn't in stealth at the time, so... Oh, Peach Booter coming through. Ow! <laughs> Bye. This <laughs> has no shot, bro. I can't even hit him. I think uh, I think I will do some two v twos now. Not with this though. <laughs> Absolutely not with this. Uh, do I want to keep it with? I probably should keep it with Railgun. What would I put on this though? Can't really do double. Yeah, okay. That should be fine. And then instead of, <laughs> instead of you, I could do Onyx. Onyx is pretty fun. Mm, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, what's your view on the new battle options UI? Uh, it's interesting. It's going to take me a little while to get used to it. But uh, it's not bad. Pretty clean. <laughs> I 
incoming Freebird first try now. I did not have pleasure. In fact, I'm not sure if I've ever even fought him. Not that I play 2v2 very much, but... Trying to cheat. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> the stasis monster. Beautiful. Hooray. No <laughs> would have been hilarious, this is true. My bro's just trying to play the game, he just Gets put up against someone just like absolutely built for maximum emotional damage. Crazy. Oh wow. Okay. Stop it! You make freaking scorpions and their impossible sh trick shots. Okay. Stop. You're mean. Should be fine. Nope. No. He killed him. I still want more. Been on empty this entire time. No, he's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna do something magically impossible and kill me. Redux blasting you with their ability while also being blinded is hilarious. Right. It's like panic button. Do something. Honestly, just seeing a human on the enemy team is emotional damaging enough for a free bird on its own. Oh, you know, that's valid. No.
It's still, it's still shot, just like into nothing. <laughs> you know which Ryuk is trying to snipe me. Yeah, see the bots can't turn when they're when they're uh, blinded. So if you wait for them to be facing backwards and then blind them, get some big back shots. Killings, you know. I just wanted to steal the kill. <laughs> I didn't have to steal the kill. The guy died. No. Hooray. There we go. Man, I'm missing a lot of shots today. I don't know what's up. Like, <laughs> like easy shots too. Is the Chungus on the right? Where is he? Right, oh, yes. Yeah, I'll deal with you in a second. Wait your turn. Do you like the new battle selection you are? Yeah, it's it's good. I don't really have any issues with it. It's just gonna take a little bit to uh, get used to. Ouch. Fair enough. Where's the last spot? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi. Mm. No! Aww, so close. It's very sad. I do want to fight a player with this, though. I'm very curious as to how it goes. More achievements, yeah. yeah. And as is pretty typical, the Neo Scale skin does not look great. My only issue with the new Battle UI is that the icon of the tournament mode is based on the night version of the Mech Arena map, which they removed in favor of the day version. That's, that's your issue? I feel like that's a weird issue to have, but okay. I'm sure they'll bring it back, though. I think they just brought back the original just to like see if people like it better, I guess. Because I'm sure people probably complained about the night version, right? They're like, no, I like the original. Ah, come on. Honestly, he deserves to die. I hope he dies. He 
You killed him, but he did die. That is a Chungus and a Bastion. Do that. Come on. If I finesse it, eh, he'll turn around and do something stupid. Like this fool. You just turn around in circles. Stop. You're weird. Scorpiuses love to hide in that corner when they get blinded. It's very interesting. Hooray! Nah. If I was better shot, it probably could have happened, but alas. Easy enough. Well. Uh. Come on. There we go. Uh, Redox and Bastion. If he shoots me, I think I'm dead, so... Ow! Well, the Redox thing got me anyway. I <laughs> like consistency. I was gonna ask you in comments, but while I'm here, what weapons do you recommend for Surge? About to get it. Um, missile rack, graviton beam, fragment gun, rail gun. Uh, I mean, you could use carbine or even fusion cannon if you really wanted to. Or is it graviton beam? Minigun's not bad. Nade launcher's not bad. It's a lot of good options. They should have both maps. Interesting. I I do kind of like the night one, but you know I kind of like all of them. Sanji, you going to work? Fair enough. You didn't stream this morning, did you? No, you didn't. I take care. Got super busy. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, I was. I wasn't sure if you were going to. So I kind of wanted to start early before you did. Do a stream tomorrow, fair. But yeah, I should be available tomorrow. I think I'll be busy Sunday though. Unfortunately, legendary weapons are very easy to get and not expensive at all. <laughs> yeah.
I mean, frags, missile rack, nades, fusion cannon, all of those are solid. Skill boy, welcome. <laughs> you make it looks like an easy win for two v twos, bro. Honestly, I haven't run into any players yet, but I saw BMP. He streamed for a couple hours. He did a two eleven stream, and uh, I saw him going against some players with this, and it seemed <laughs> honestly, it, it, it seemed about that. Blind him. Get him, Redux. <laughs> Get him, Redux. <laughs> no, no. No, not Redux, friend. Aww. Wow. If I was good at stuff. Only I was good at stuff. I was gonna say. <laughs> Easy kill. He comes up to me. He knows that I'm there. But he doesn't want to walk past. But he knows that he's not supposed to technically know that I'm there. So he turns around. So predictable. My Redux, no. I know, they violated that Redux, bro. Easy. Hooray. Besides Discate, Discate is so overpriced. <laughs> and Graviton 10. I think Graviton 10 is actually more overpriced. Mm. Well, that's a bastion. I wanted my Redox friend back, honestly. Redox is OP. Bastion is not. Ah. Uh, it's a little bit preemptive, but it's alright. Get him. Now, if I stall him out enough, he'll have his ability back at the time. Yeah, okay. Oh. Every time, bro. Every time. They know you're there, but they don't want to act like they don't know you're there. But they know that they're supposed to act like they don't know you're there. So they just turn around and just keep doing donuts until you do something. Oh. Yeah. I did get him, so it's fine. I would never let that happen. Look. It was another Redox that killed him. So, like, you know. When it comes to a Redox war, who am I to interfere? Grab 10 is technically cheaper. Well, I know. He was being sarcastic. I don't know. What I was saying is Graviton 10 is cheaper. It is the cheapest legendary weapon.
thoughts are insane as of late. As in what, like the way that they act or the things that they're using? Or both, even. <laughs> Why limit it? Only 11,000 acorns? Look, I had 36,000, but then I had to spend 25,000 to max out Solas. I promise it was a lot more when I started. <laughs> I know. We uh, imagine couldn't be me. Actually, like this. Yeah. Eh, fair enough. Should be fine. Go with the Bastion bot. Bro, what are you doing? Pew. Oh, nah. <laughs> I ain't letting Scorpius live. Scorpius is the bane of this thing's existence. Is that a redox bot teammate for me, I mean? If it was my redox teammate, that's sad. Hey, yo, what? Burst teleporting. Juicy Fruit, what are you in right now? I will keep your redox alive. Oh, he's in his redox right now. I know, because the cryo launcher. Get him. Fair enough. I should have blinded him for him. Next time, next time. Re oh, I lost a log. <clears throat> I lost a log for a second. Oh, he's in it. He's in it. It's happening. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Redux is OP. Nope. You're not gonna kill my Redux friend, okay? Look here. No, don't go in the middle! Okay. Well, he's doomed. Yeah, the Scorpius freaking ruins everything. I'll just tank it to the face. Better than letting it go past me. When the bots reach the end of that ramp, they teleport to the side. It's so weird. Get him. Get him, yeah. He killed you he killed your redox earlier. Unacceptable. <laughs> Good job, bot friend. It's either the bots that are max or the players. Well I wouldn't I wouldn't really know what to say about that.
Oh, I have enough for one of these. Kind of just wait. I spent them before. I spent my keys earlier, but... Oh, wait, actually. Is it worth... So, it's so like roughly 15% chance if I open two. For 10, it's like 30% chance if I spend all my... I may as well. I could just like spend the credits and the acorns to buy the skin, but I don't really care. Hooray, black carbon. Black carbon's not my favorite. This one's pretty solid, though. I like the green pattern. Can't wait to see what Soul's first legendary skin's gonna look like. Kind of surprised they didn't release one with the uh, with the skin event that's happening right now. Sad. Well, hopefully a black carbon, the one that I got, was the one for acorns, and then I can just buy the other one for credits. And it was! Hooray! Alright. Eh, it's not as good now that I look closely at it, but hey, it's alright. So long as, like, the kind of the lights match the rest of it fairly well, I think it looks nice. Red paired with orange is kind of weird, but... It's not quite as bright of orange as I want it to be. But see, like, this one, Night Camo? This is solid, honestly. Very solid. That one, not so much. <laughs> this one is obnoxious, but it does fit. Like, it, it really does. Uh, this one fits pretty well. This one's nice, although it does kind of look like pajamas for some reason. This one's not bad, actually. The skin looks great, but the red lights don't really match. It kind of bothers me. That one looks terrible. This one honestly doesn't look that good. And then that one, and then this one. Eh, well, I mean, <laughs> this one kind of is one of the best ones there. Do we do? Repeater Solus. Look, I would if my Repeater 16 was duplicated. Everyone knows Repeater 16 is OP, but the 12 is not. That's why the bots use a, a 12 and a, a 16 and an 8. I'm sorry, as opposed to a sing as opposed to two 12s. They know the truth. Stop. Sentry, when are you go gonna go? I forgot what time you said. Both of the bastions, okay. Yay, yeah, nice. Yeah, are you gonna stream? Yeah, they know new truth. Exactly. You just got home? Okay. Well, just let me know when you plan on town. Because I don't... Yeah, I don't know how much longer I want to go for anyway. In like an hour? Alright. No. 
not the redux. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Scrippy spots cheat. Stop! You see what I'm saying, though? Freaking cheaters. All of them. It's weird. Why did... Oh. Come on. Still haven't found any players in Tuka 2, which is sad. Probably not for them. I'm sure they like it better this way, but... Honestly. <laughs> Ain't scared. I know this guy. Oh, he's only 8,000? Bro. This whole time, I figured he was like a max player, but no. Nah. He's got three max mix. Maxed Arc 10s, bro. There's so many people who made the mistake of maxing out Arc Torrent 10. It's kind of on them, though, to be honest. It's just a, it's just a bad idea. Like, I didn't, I didn't even bother. Sad. I don't know if I know him from, like, Discord or anything, but, yeah. I don't think I really have the room in my list. I walk up to a beacon and two Scorpius bots instantly pop up, bro. That's just how they are. They freaking jump... Scorpius jump scares are real, okay? They are mean. Cruel and unusual. Oh, we have a random guy. I don't know who it is. One above all. Let's freaking go. Where is he, though? Is the question. He's over there. He's the answer. Goodbye. Stop. You're a cheater. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There we go. Curious as to where he spawns. Ah, right there. Hey, get blind, you fool. Didn't seem to take it so bad. Oh no. Well, time to go. <laughs> Not worth it. What 
is that? Oh. Yep, definitely a menace in 2v2. You already subscribed? <laughs> Bye. Man just came in, sub subbed, and left. Appreciate it. Where is he? Maybe they decided uh, not to have Scorpius <laughs> Logs shows so the bots can target you 24-7? No. It's a bug. This happened before. They're not supposed to be able to target you if they can't see you. But they can because it's a bug. And this happened before. Which is exactly what I said. Actually, I'm going to waste that one so I can have two. I don't know what that is that he's using. Well, let's go. He just, like, fires into the... Fires into nothing. You love to see it. Is it emotionally damaging enough? There we go. Yeah, let's go. Started off with thumbs up. Ended with Angies. I'm very sorry. <laughs> this guy probably is not having a great time. I, I do feel bad for him. It's just the way that they made the mech. Oh, there's no way. I almost got him immediately, bro. He is mad now, probably going to report you. I know. I'm so sorry. He started off good vibe. He's like, yeah, good job. You know, like, you know, fair enough. But then it ended up being just like, bro, my eyes. They need, they need to not die. Like, I need to see things. I can't really blame him, honestly. If I was, if I never used this before, and I ran into someone who just like absolutely flashbanged the crap out of me, I just like I had no idea what the specifics of the thing are because it, it's literally day one, right? Videos of this mech came out yesterday, so if he hasn't watched all of them, specifically sentries, to figure out what does and doesn't happen with it, then <laughs> he has basically no idea what's even going on. He's just constantly getting his eyes violated. Wait for you? Okay. Do you want to join the 2v2 or are you looking to, <laughs> you looking to time drop me? Probably the former. Time drop for the pain and joy for the fun. There we go. What an awesome hanger you got there. I know, it's built for maximum emotional damage. Except I'd rather have Railgun on Orion. So I'm not entirely sure what I'd put on uh, Solus, to be honest. It's 
it's already behind the live. What do you mean? My stream actually has like only two second delay or something like that, which is what you can expect from pretty much any stream. 2v2 is my main game mode. It's unfortunate this mech is going to be available after the heat death of the universe, yeah. It might be. I mean, you might have like might have a few weeks before the heat death of the universe, though, to be fair, if you hurry. Stop. <laughs> Redux. Redux versus Solus. Which one's more OP? Good old. Don't get too close, don't get too close. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Oh, bye. Sorry. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's so close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> I managed to not kill him. That's terrible. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Take it slightly delayed. I'm glad your stream got a few seconds delay. Yeah. Ow. How did he kill? Mm, you know? Hard to say. Double. <laughs> you can stay if you're off. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Choosing to do it first. Master Games is on. Deal is almost useless now. On Guardian? Yeah, nah. You need something that's kind of fast. I think for the most part, anything that can use Helix can also use Discontra fairly well. But you need to like actually use the guided thing. 
Sentry was doing well with them versus the um, in the like CFC thing. Orion and Surge would be fine. Yeah, true. Chungus, <laughs> yeah. I should put it back on Chungus. It used to be my main. Oh, still no players. It used to be my main disc launcher mech. It's always fun. Dang. Disrupt your twelves. What are you? Oh. Ha. <laughs> There we go. Okay, you got like half HP. You'll be fine. Look out. Redox be redox. Get him. Is that gonna be yeah. <laughs> uh. It's too OP, like what are you gonna do? I have less than a thousand HP. Everything's fine. The both of their bastions are dead though. Which is good news. Like I kind of need both of their bastions dead if I want to do anything. Thank you. If he uses his thing, I'm dead. And he used his thing. <laughs> Speaking OP Redux. Hi. Get him. Oh, oh. Never mind. <laughs> Did he, he kills you with a single quad rock? It was just a deletion. Oh, that's sad. No! Oh! Okay, well. These bots have made me dislike CPC even more now. Damn, you don't like CPC? Nah, uh, CPC is the sort of thing you need to practice, honestly. Hmm, should do one, try something else. I kind of want... I want to see what else works good. Like, Railgun's obviously nice, but I feel like I'm out of ammo. The ability comes back really quickly. What if I did Disruptors on it? For 2v2 specifically. 
might be decent. The reload time's pretty quick. But you only get the one shot. So it's hard to say. Joshua, welcome. Yeah, I think the last time I streamed was... It was kind of a while ago. It was last month, I'd have to say. Let's do CPC. Oh, okay. We'll do that next time. <gasps> hey, let's go. I'm so glad we didn't do CPC. You get to emotionally scar some people. That guy has a seeker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try me, fool. Freaking try me. Oh, he... <laughs> He has it too! There's no shot, that's great. Nice, thanks. Oh, uh, well, it's a, uh, it's an eclipse. Just move, just move. Aw. Oh. oh, he got lucky. He got lucky. If I if if there was a if there wasn't a wall there. Oh, bro, has got a Juggernaut. Oh, my God. I love it, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for killing you, Juggernaut. I had to. I didn't actually, but, you know. We can pretend. Here. Are they both down for round two? One of them looked like he had given up. Like he just straight up... Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> Whoever that got you. Nice, thanks. Getting freaking optically violated is actually kind of fantastic. Oh, I missed. Yeah. I wanted to be... be uh, <laughs> uh, sudden. It's okay. More emotional damage. <laughs> More emotional damage. Hello. <laughs> More emotional damage. There's no way you. Oh no. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Just light up my whole living room. Oh, that's, you said you had it on your TV, didn't you? Oh no. <laughs> Are you winning, son? Yes. Uh, we're emotionally violating some people. It was great. Yeah, I saw that. That was a... <laughs> Kex had me up on his TV. 
<laughs> said he was in the kitchen had to turn around like what was that no he he didn't need to turn on he knew exactly what that was this is true getting these 16 caps is taking almost as long as it takes ember to release what do you mean what 16 caps you gotta clip that bro yeah i'll have to go back through and clip stuff from this one there's several good stuff good parts but uh yeah and it's less than six hours well as of right now which is shorter than most of my streams Kex had a new go up in his ass, bro, for real. So when are you starting, Sentry? Like in half an hour, dude. I'm still okay. kind of tired. Yeah, like... no, that's fine. Give me a sec. You are good. And I need to, like, actually get on the game and collect stuff <laughs> before I start streaming. Yeah. Caps for the weekly. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. No, resource caps for, like, particularly, like, battle point caps. Honestly, it's, like, it's, it's the most annoying and pointless thing I've ever seen. I think it should be impossible for someone to infinitely play without getting theoretically infinite resources from them. So do you want to do CPC or do you want to keep doing 2v2? Because that was kind of hilarious. Hmm. Could I? Let me see how far I can get it. Oh, am I going to have the credits for this? Uh oh. <laughs> What's your credits? 600,000. The rank 6. That's enough six. to get it to rank 6, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Will I be live as well? After that? Yes, yeah, hundred percent. It's six hundred thousand. Just or no, I, actually no. I think it's more like four fifty thousand for all of rank six Bro, or all of rank five. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Or the ah. XP cap. The XP cap kind of makes sense. Like if they want to do that, sure. But like there should be zero chance. Anything? Okay. Let's keep doing a couple more two v twos. I'd have to change my. There's zero chance a freaking disruptor. So this would work good in CPC, so. But yeah, I think that there should be like zero chance that like you like play oh, for twenty hours and don't like get rewarded for the first one. That's just bull. I accidentally entered the playoff. Oh early, no. And I am definitely oh, not getting that implant though. Oh no. Uh <laughs> we're I just we're two v one. Yeah. Are those disruptor 16? They are. Nice. We're we're two v one some guy, who I already one v one. Into v well in, into v two anyway. Bruh. Yeah, I don't think he's particularly happy. In fact, he uh he started off. Basic. It was basically an emotional damage success story. We we <laughs> we started off with him being like, good job. He gave me a thumbs up when I killed him, even with Solus. But then by the end, after I killed him for like the third time. Actually, it wasn't even the third time, it was probably more like the fifth time. After I killed him with Solus for like the fifth time, he was he was given the Yankees. He was not having it. Yeah. Which is <laughs> Which is valid. <laughs> Stalker Taurus, welcome. Where is he? Hey, wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Stop it. That's okay. Thanks, sir. I can wait. I have to. Battle pass. Oh, uh, should I get it? It's a good, I like this skin. It's a nice skin. It's better than the last one, for sure. 
the last uh, Eclipse skin, I mean. Take my money. <laughs> Take all of my money. All of it. Oh, they, they will. It. You don't have to ask. <laughs> Take all of my money, which consists of $10. Just have it. <laughs> I will get those $10 back someday eventually. All right. <laughs> he angry again. You know what? Val awesome. Valid guy, Valid. Yes, I, re I remember you. Ouch. But it's kind of cringe whenever people are like, do you remember me? Like, do you... It is, it is. That's why I didn't address that part. I remember you, but say another cringe thing and I'll forget about you instantly. Is that a stasis <laughs> beam onyx? <laughs> What's a stasis beam onyx? Yeah. Like, I'm okay saying, like, oh, I remember you. I haven't seen you in a while. You know, something like that. Yeah. And it's like... Like, I remember the other day in Platinum stream, someone was like, Hey, Platinum, you know me? And then they're like, I was there since your first video. Do you remember me? I'm like, bro, that guy's not bro. Well, depending on how often you comment, it, yeah. Like, if, if he's supposed to know you from one comment, then absolutely not. And, e and even if he did remember you, it's like, okay. You, know, you, don't have, you don't have to say, do you remember me? You could just be like, you know, I haven't been here in a while. Or, hey, it's good to see you again. Thing. No, immediately. Do you remember me? Right, exactly. <laughs> well, tell about them immediately. It's, it's fine, though. It's your own It's now. Cold Future is Rita? Bam. Yeah, he's cool. I think he had it before the achievements got reworked. Good for him. Exactly. Yo, guys, it's, yeah. I've, never <laughs> met, I've never met this man. Onyxion, wait a second. Oh, the mech. That's what it means. Oh, you're, you're like the that's mech. what it is. Okay, that's... I think that was two player matches in a row. Let's just keep on going with 2v2, honestly. You know, if you want to call that last one a player match. <laughs> it was it's a, a bit of a match. stretch. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll accept it, only because I've been getting bot matches this entire time. It was a thousand percent of player match. There was a player in it, and it was a match. This is true. So Actually, there were player. multiple players in it. Really? I think all, I think every single one of my matches have been a player match. There was at least one player in all of them. Good for you. Dude, now that there's a new artillery coming, I don't know... I was gonna use boar for a second storm rack build. Now, uh -huh. now that build has to go somewhere else. And honestly, the only spots that are free are my legend, my other legendary sniper pilots. Oh yeah, like Morpho and Fair Arcane, enough. So I don't use them for anything. Yeah. Although, let, 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 let's there. let's be real though. Right? Let's be real though. If they come out with a new weapon, there's basically no chance they don't do another pilot too. Yeah. Look at all those people. So many people. Nope. Okay. Pretty black. Ow. I know, okay, because I think there's... I think there's two players in this match. Both of them are on my team. <laughs> Ouch. I was hoping to kill him before he turned, but I don't know why. I don't know why I would think that's possible. Yo, what? Well... <laughs> Bye. Oh, what? Okay. 
I swear that bots are like dying on a delay now. What do you mean by that? Like I kill them, and, like, and then like half a second later they die. Oh, okay. Bots specifically? Yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe it's not just bots. Maybe it's everybody. And I just wasn't paying attention, but noticing it on the bots. Oh, it's a it's a Rita. Get him. Oh yeah, I did I didn't kill him yet again. Ah, never mind. Hooray. Oh no. He almost got I almost died to his freaking shield. <laughs> Poor bots just like stuck there. Bastion bots really are the final bosses in 2v2, bro. I know. beams back on and we can go for some CPC CPC yeah okay give me a sec just, just... oh you're getting on all right oh I'm on I just uh I'm in a game just... oh no I'm... we might have a full lobby anyway Are you, you close to done? No, no, no. There's we got one spot. Are you close to done? Thirty seconds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll win. Talk about some random stuff. We'll wait exactly twenty nine seconds, and then we'll start if you're not there. Maybe I can cut it short by killing all the bots. Yeah. Okay, I cut it ten seconds short. Nice. Oh, Blue Falcon's there. He is. He's been doing well, though. He's been getting top spots on our team. Oh, good. I mean. Okay. That's not. I am going one, one, one. I'm in lobby. And Blue Falcon, leave me alone, bro. Stop messaging me, bro. <laughs> Real. How are you? Why do you care, bro? God, just trying to play some Margarino, bro. Okay. Someone, someone. Oh, literally just, someone. Okay. Literally someone. Yeah. Just came back from fishing. Very nice. Hope you had I was fun. About to say, oh, someone went fishing, but I, I didn't someone. see that his name was literally <laughs> someone. How am I still alive? Look, you don't know me if you think I wouldn't stream for at least five hours. And at the very least. At least. At the minimum, yeah. Exactly. I think I will be stopping soon, though, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Well, also, I don't know if you saw from uh, Platinum in the content creator's chat. He, he showed the 
the minimum range. The minimum range for the on the live server. Solus has a maximum right. range. It, the thing just doesn't work above 140 meters. Oh, okay. Which is <laughs> re yeah, it's not great because like you want to keep as much distance as possible, but. To be fair, it's only really useful if you. It's only really good info if you're using like. Maybe pod gun, or EM rifle, but you're probably not going to be using EM rifle. No. Everything else has about a hundred range, so. The mech is fun though, and it doesn't like it doesn't seem that bad, honestly. I fought, I mean, I, like, I fought the one guy that had it as well. He was blinding me back, I was, I was blinding him, he was blinding me. I have to see. You wanna stay? We can stay. One of them left. That's okay. Okay. We'll leave after this one and then we can stay. What does everything in game have a ridiculous amount of HP? Nothing will die? Bro, everything will die. If anything, in endgame, things die quicker. <laughs> <laughs> now that's something I've heard a lot of. Why is endgame stuff so tanky? Well, <laughs> let me tell you about the damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the the survivability in endgame goes so far down. Not even kidding. Like there's a lot of legendary tanks and stuff. But bruh, that just... The damage scaling is absurd. So this gives you the ability to use sustained weaponry versus bots if used correctly, which is great. This is true, although Graviton versus bots has always been, you know, relatively useful. I do wonder if Graviton will be a decent again, decent choice against players, though. Theoretically, three seconds of, of blind time, even so, even just a single orb, is enough for two implosions, which is really good damage. Like I think two implosions from a grab, pair of Grav 16s, will kill pretty much anything. Leave me alone. No. You just gotta watch out for the Scorpius. Scorpius bots are the devil. I can see that. Oh my gosh, can he stop dashing, bro? This one can snow it. There we go. <laughs> Bruh, I keep getting killed by pot guns with this thing. Really? Yeah. Barely any of the bots even have bodies. Yeah, but the ones that do, it's like the immediate, like, drag <laughs> all of them perfectly onto my body, of course. Yeah, fair enough. I do be like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What? You were pushing me. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was trying to move. <laughs> it takes... Okay, see, Pogster, that's different. You can't say everything in endgame is so tanky and then say, okay, it's tanky when I try to shoot it. I'm like, well, yeah. Like, yeah. I think more specifically... Okay, we can go back. More specifically, items that are several ranks and several grades higher than what you have are for, are tanky which is the issue it's not it's not the end game tankiness that's the issue the issue is that you're not in end game but you're still fighting end game stuff the solar flare oh damn it oh i should have made a solar flare joke in my video how did i miss that that is literally what it is it's literally a solar flare that's this is true.
Instead, it's just solar panel. Exactly. Oh. Hmm? Exactly. Get kicked it's or something? Solar. What do you mean? What? I just hear. I just heard you go. What? And then stop. Someone's banging on my door. Oh. It is fine. Let them open it. See what happens. <laughs> It'll be fine. Bossman, welcome. By the way. Yeah, it's been a while. I think the last stream I did was like last month. Very sad. Yeah. Discs aren't so bad. Yeah. You just gotta use them as the right thing. Obviously. And I know how to do that. Three times. No! Oh, too many things spawned. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice looking redox right there. How you better you stream for a multiple of 211. This is true as shit, huh? been going for six hours so i'd have to go we stay or go back uh, we can stay okay oh it's it's too late sorry i, I said last time that we we'd re regroup and then stay okay okay like you can like stop after this one if you want yeah i think i probably will and then i'll just like wait get, 10 minutes and i have to get food soon anyways Good for you. Do you think Solus is too good, or did the devs do a good job? Honestly, I think they did a good job. Unless it's 2v2, I don't think I've gotten a single MVP versus players with this thing. Yeah, Scorpius, go away. Would you die to? An EM nomad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Did I die to as much? It's fair enough. Alright. Get him. Oh no, he went into the T1S. <laughs> That's not good. I was just about to kill him and then he immediately made my gravitons useless. <laughs> No, just no. Dun, 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 just dun, say dun, no. Dun, pew. Dun, dun. No funky walking animation this time. Hemlock picks treads. 
is best. This is true. This is true. I think it would have been funnier with uh, crazy walking animation. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh. Actually, I think I should be able to redirect to your stream. But I have to be live at the same time. Yes. Simple. All I need to oh, do. I forgot is I have menu. these. Abbas, Kex, Skillboy, Robo Demon, Poseidon. Nice. Okay, and then uh, I have five more that I could do, but I think I'll have to do that next week during the Hangar Reviews stream. So it should be fine. <laughs> now to keep it real. Uh, I think Sentry's going to start streaming. We could probably do like one more while Sentry sets up. You do that. And then I'm gonna switch voice calls too. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go to the stage channel. I'm gonna go to just regular comps. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Century streams too. He does. In fact, he has been uh, practicing some longer streams because he's going to do a 24-hour stream at some point, probably. Next month or the month after? It's like in a month or two. So he already did a 12 hour one. Which was a lot of fun. We stream Farlight after this on Twitch? I have not played Farlight in a minute. Yeah, it's a good time. He lets people like he he lets people join comms with him too if you want to. I yeah, I would do that, but I'd get too many people who join for the wrong reason. So I kind of let him do what he does. Uh, my Discord's in the description. Sentry, uh, Sentry uses my Discord server, so he's just he's just in there. He's got a spot. So does Sanji, who's another guy, uh, another friend of mine, who streams. Both of them. We'll let people join them on comms if they want. You're an enemy up. That's annoying. <laughs> A full take or Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes, just link in the description. 
And so you can join Sentry when he streams. If you want, he's already there. He better weapons him still using orders, bruh. Yeah, fair enough. Now this the what artillery is epic. It's a new artillery weapon, yeah. That is epic. Anyway, let me find Sentry Stream. Actually, I don't, maybe I don't need to. I won't be able to just go here, edit, and get like customization. Here we go. This would be Sentry Stream. And so it should, after I'm done, it should go to his. So it should be fine. Why can't I no. just do this, I guess? Uh, wait, what happened to... I'm confused. He's just gone. He ain't live yet. Let me see what's he... Hello? Okay. Are you, are you, are you started? I have started, yes. Okay. I will, yeah. I'll redirect to you in a second. You should have yours okay. allowed, right? Uh, uh huh. What's up? You you have it. You have that setting turned on, where it's like people can redirect to yours. Stuff. I am pretty sure I do. Yeah, I was with okay. y'all when you tried to do it with Sanji, and I turned mine on. Okay, yeah. So I I have, I have the stream. All right. Good luck with yours then. All right. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Uh. Next stream be like some time. It'll be like it'll be Sunday the thirty first, I think. I will definitely be going then. Possibly there will be another one between then, but yeah, otherwise. I'm gonna try to pick up videos a little bit more. But yeah, otherwise have fun with Sentry. It's a, it's always a good time. Like I said, he uses uh he uses comms on my server. Link to my server's in the description. And it should be in the the in the description of his stream as well. So if you want to join and you know talk with him on the stream, then go ahead and do that. But otherwise, yeah, appreciate y'all for stopping by. Take care.